And I got to tell you too, today the competition's going to get even more intense. So please hang on because we're ready for a great ride today as well. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for your GP. And we're going to carry that on throughout the day. I know that. So regardless of how the day plays out, I got to tell you, whether you win or you come up just short, you know, remember today is part of that much longer journey that we're all taking. This is just a small part of that journey. End your experience and journey with the first programs. So please enjoy the day. Enjoy this little bit of your journey. And again, no matter whether your team is ranked first or you expand or you're, you're, you're first or you're last, doesn't matter because you're expanding your skills. That's the important thing. And beyond this competition, you are preparing for your future. Please remember that and, you know, just build on it. Build on this experience and make every experience you have with FIRST and in your life your own. Embrace it. So we do have a guest speaker today, and it's my pleasure to introduce the principal of Ben Salem High School, Mr. Frank Flanagan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I just want to take a few moments and just say uh, welcome to Ben Salem. I know that this competition has been going on this weekend. Um, we absolutely love having everybody here. Uh, to the teams, you guys, your work is amazing. All your effort and the amount of energy and the creativity and the dedication. I want to thank all the teams for their work. I want to thank all the families that are here to support the teams. And I want to thank, you know, Mr. McKay, who's our robotics, who quarterbacks our robotics for us here. So thank you for that. Um, welcome to Ben Salem. I hope that everybody has a great day. Good luck to all the teams competing today. And have a great rest of the weekend afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flanagan. So as we say over and over again, FIRST is about building a community, a community of leaders. And, you know, we are preparing you to tackle the world's biggest challenges. That's what you have to consider. And what is most exciting for us, especially as volunteers and alumni who've been here a long time, is to witness the impact that you are having, not only on the FIRST community, but the, the impact you're having in your community in general. So we're literally anxious to watch how you and how you grow in the next 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years and the impact you're going to have as you grow and you mature and you become leaders in your community. So the first, as a first community member, a reminder, as a few first community member, you have access to many educational and career opportunities, developmental opportunities, such as industry certifications, internships, scholarships, all of this is available to you. And this is the where this community that you're going to have and you're going to build that's going to really impact your lives as well as ours. So to make the first event run smoothly, we have volunteers. So these volunteers are dedicated to co and committed to join, uh, join in with you, make this competition work, but also to provide fun. Uh, so we would like to uh, please once more recognize our people in stripes, our referees. So let's reintroduce our referees. They worked really hard yesterday to keep this not only fun, but fair. Remember, it's about fair play. That's their jobs. Fair play and to make sure that you have a great experience. I think we accomplished that today and we're expecting much, much more tomorrow. And our volunteer inspectors. So let's recognize our inspectors, the people behind the scenes. So please show your appreciation for the diligent and helpfulness of our robot inspectors. And they're led by our lead inspector, Paul Stable. Paul. A quick reminder, a quick reminder, teams must re-inspect their robot once you have completed your qualification match. So as soon as you've finished your last qualification match, whether that be match 67, 68, whatever match it is, your robot and all robots in the building must be re-inspection. And you need to be re-inspection if you expect to be part of our playoff. So please get re-inspected. Remember to do that. 
So we'd also introduce our, our field volunteers. Boy, these guys are making this place really special. First of all, our FTA, lead FTA, who leads all our FTAAs, Jenna Mullica. Jenna. And our field supervisors, where are they? Kara. Kara. There she is, Kara Bukowski and Debbie Musselman. Debbie. And then there's volunteers in the pits. You know, the pit admin and spare parts people and safety attendants are all led by our awesome pit administrators, Lynn O'Gara and Diane Bruno. And among our volunteers also behind the scenes. And why were all our volunteers here? The volunteers were collected and organized by Jimmy Kane. Jimmy, thank you very much. Great job, Jimmy. And also our field event manager, Cooper Smith. Thank you, Cooper. This is, this is Cooper's second events that he managed, and he's, he's a professional. He is a great professional and has been a great leader for all the rest of us. So a reminder, for today's schedule, this is how today's schedule is going to go. We're going to finish our qualification matches, a total of 70. Then we're going to have senior photos right here on the field. We want all of you seniors, you graduating seniors, right down on the field. We're going to quickly gather on the field for your big senior photo. Following the senior photo, we're going to have our outstanding volunteer award. We're going to find out who the outstanding volunteer of the first Mid-Atlantic program is. And then the Donald Bowers Inspiration Award. Incredible award. Then we go into a line selection and then we break for lunch. So that's what we're going to do. And then after the lunch break, we're going to begin our playoff rounds and we're going to pre have presentation of all the other awards in bet between our rounds. And then we'll end the competition with our closing and award ceremony. So with that, it's going to be a super exciting day, but we just also want to remind you, please, safety first. With that, let's have our national anthem, please. Please rise for the national anthem. And the color guard we have today, good morning ladies and gentlemen, in today's competition at Ben Salem High School, we have the, total, we have the Ben Salem High School Marine Corps, R -O, a JROTC color guard. They're going to help us honor the nation and the community. This morning, the color guard is Cadet Corporal Perry Patel, Cadet Lance Corporal Carl Fortner, Cadet Lance Corporal Eden Gray, and Cadet Lance Corporal Michael Koch. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem by Tommy Gunnup. Tommy Gunnup, please. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reglare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the Ben Salem High School Marine Corps JROTC Color Guard in honoring our nation and our community. The Ben Salem High, the ben Salem High School Marine, J, 
junior ROTC program has been identified as a Naval Honor School three years in a row as a program in the top 20% of the Marine JROTC programs in the nation. Please give this color guard a well-deserved round of applause. With that, we are ready to go. Let's get the robots on the field and let's crescendo! Welcome back again, the other voice on the field, my good friend and the best, one of the best game announcers on the planet Earth, Mr. Tom Wexler! Bwe, bwe, bwe. Good morning, Ben Salem! Hey, who's ready for match 50? Oh my good, 50 over 70 we're playing today. Tommy, could you please introduce the Red Alliance? Team 4750. Out of Pennsauken, New Jersey, it's Bert. And Team 203. They won the Sustainability Award at the Seneca event, Superbots. And Team 1712. Last year's Impact Award winner at Seneca, and this year, Gracious Professionalism Award winner. Yes. It's Dogma. On the blue line side, excuse me, let's introduce Team 2722. They were finalists last week at Seneca, as well as Excellence in Engineering Award winners. It's Charge Robotics. And Team 9027. They've got a blue banner already this season from Hapro Horsham, Path to domination. And 1640. Last year's Hatboro Horsham Engineering Inspiration Award winner. This year, their Innovation Control Award from Seneca. It's Sabotage.
Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match, 50 underway here in Ben Salem. Over on the blue lines, that's 1640 Sabotage. Sending a note towards their speaker. Charge, charging back towards the subwoofer. That's in, it's good for the Blue Alliance. Over on the red, all three robots able to move. That's Dogma, Superbots, and Burt. Advantage, Blue Alliance coming out of autonomous mode. With over two minutes to go, path to domination. They've got a note scored for Blue, that's 9027. Their partner's charge following right behind. Yet another note scored. We're already up to seven notes for the Blue Alliance. They're working to try and get up to 18 notes. They want to get that additional ranking point for the melody. Blue has amplified their speaker. That path to domination note will count for five points. Meanwhile, we've got traffic over on the Red Alliance. Burt making it difficult for Charge to get past. Burt blocking the way. Path to domination able to make their own path. Charge charging along, but Bert is making it difficult for all the blue robots by that blue source zone. That's enough of a time for Superbots 203 to place a note in the speaker for the Red Alliance. And here comes Dogma. They've got a note in their claws. Placing it on the ground and going back for more. With just over one minute left to go in this match, action by the Red Speaker. 203 Superbots lining up with their partners, Bert. Bert with the chip shot, that's one note in, followed right by Superbots. Here comes 1640 Sabotage. They're able to juke out of the way of Bert and pick up a note like it's nobody's business. Action over by the blue speaker. That's charged, 27-22. They've got a note placed. They're already at the melody bonus. That will guarantee them one ranking point for this match at least. With 30 seconds, Dogma is waiting to strike for their moment in this match. Their partner, Superbots, going past towards the red source zone. That guitar riff means we're at 22nd. High notes flying high. That's an excellent spotlight for the Blue Alliance. Great job by the charged human player. With eight seconds remaining, Path to Domination is up. Can we have some sweet, sweet harmony with 27-22 charge with one second remaining? 1640, not in time, but Bert hanging up for red. We'll be back with the final scores in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Takes the win in our first match today with a score of 82 to 27. Three ranking points for the Blue Lions. Two for the win, one for that melody. Helps move all the teams up. 1640 Sabotage up to 16th. Path to Domination to 14th. And Charge is now in 10th. Remember, folks, the top eight teams will have the ability to be Alliance captains when we get to our Alliance selection later this morning. Hey friends, in case you didn't join us yesterday, if you're tuning in for the first time, take a look at the animation for this year's game, Crescendo. Welcome to the 2024 first robotics competition game, Crescendo, presented by Haas. Two alliances of three teams each compete to score or play notes in three different field elements. Amplify their speaker, get on stage, harmonize, and take the spotlight before time runs out. Alliances earn additional rewards for meeting specific scoring thresholds and for cooperating with their opponents. 
Robots start each match inside their alliance's starting zone and may be preloaded with a note. During the first 15 seconds of the match, robots are autonomous and can be programmed to leave their starting zone, play preloaded notes in their speaker or amp, and collect and play additional notes. During the following 2 minutes and 15 seconds, drivers control their robots. Robots collect notes from human players at their source and play them in their amp and speaker. Each time an alliance plays two notes in their amp, the human player can hit a button to amplify their speaker for 10 seconds. Notes played in an amplified speaker are worth more points than those scored in an unamplified speaker. A human player may choose to play a note scored in their amp to cooperate with their opponent. If each alliance plays a note by hitting their cooperation button in the first 45 seconds of teleop, all teams in the match receive a cooperation point, which will influence a team's rank in the tournament. The number of played notes needed for a bonus ranking point is also reduced. Robots are protected from contact by their opponents when at their podium, off the ground, and during the last 20 seconds of the match while in contact with their stage. As time runs out, robots race to get on stage and deliver notes through the flap and into the trap. Bonus points are awarded for harmony when robots on stage use the same chain. On stage robots earn even more points if a human player spotlights the robots on a chain by scoring a note on the chain's corresponding microphone. The alliance that earns the most points wins the match. All right, we're ready for match number 41. Tommy, please introduce the Red Alliance, starting with team 4575. Here are the Imagery Award winners at this year's Blacksburg, Virginia event. It's Gemini. And team 103. One of our Hall of Fame teams competing here. They were event winners at Allentown. It's Cybersonics. And Team 5895. They're already winners this year from the Happer Horsham event and were winners at the Milstein Division for championships last year. It's Petty Robotics. Moving on over to the Blue Alliance, we introducing now Team 427. They won the Imagery Award at the Happer Horsham event this year. It's Lance a lot. And Team 437-3. Last year, right here, they won the Autonomous Award. It's Rubotics. And Team 486. One of our strong veteran teams here in their 25th season out of Strathaven High School. It's the Positronic Panthers. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. For the Red Alliance, we've got notes flying fast and furious. Petty's already got two scored in that speaker and a third as it takes me to finish that sentence. And there's four for Petty chasing down a fifth. Meanwhile, four, that is a five note auto for Petty Robotics. But not to count out, take a look at that score. Strong work by Lancelot Robotics and the Positronic Panthers for Blue, which makes this only a three point game. Lancelot able to place a note in the blue amplifier as Robotics does the same for the blue speaker. These robots cycling fast and furious. 103 Cybersonics passing a note across the field to their partners. We've already got a quarter note on field. Or I guess that's a dotted half note because it's three quarters of it. Nonetheless, Gemini's got a hold of it. They're holding it like that for a mod note. Cybersonics placing a note on the ground, getting ready to pass it over to their partners. 
Petty 58-95, that's another note in the amp. These teams have engaged the cooperation bonus. That lowers the threshold needed for the melody by one point. Lancelot scoring the blue amplified speaker for five additional points for that note. An excellent way of running that amp. Cybersonic scoring for red. Their speaker is amplified. Petty lining up. It's up. It's good. That'll get them 10 additional points. Can Gemini finish the trifecta in at the end there? Both alliances have already completed the melody. We could very well see six ranking points be awarded by the time this match is over. Real-time score shows the advantage to red. This is still anybody's game. 45-75, Gemini scoring for the Red Alliance in the speaker, as does Petty in the amp. Cybersonics finishing the chord. Over the Blue Alliance, 43-73, Rubotics with the easy mic placement. They've got note up. Their partners, 427, Lancelot. Lancing right through the center of that speaker. 20 seconds worth the end game with that guitar riff for the Blue Alliance, Positronic Panthers and Rubotics lining up on the stage, seeing if they can get that harmony bonus. We've already got one spotlit microphone for the Red Alliance. Cybersonics is under it with two, one. Petty trying to recover. They are still got one foot on the ground, but their partners, Gemini, look like they're in the air. Meanwhile, for the Blue Lines, Positronic Panthers and Robotics able to perform sweet, sweet harmony. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. With our new high score of 95 to 77. Three ranking points there for the Red Alliance, two for the win, one for the Harmony. That helps Cybersonics hold on to that number five position, and Petty is still currently our number one ranked team.
Tommy, for our next match, let's please introduce our teams in the Red Alliance. The number two ranked team for this tournament is 272. There are Creativity Award winners at Seneca and event winners and EI winners here last year. It's the Cyber Crusaders. And currently ranked number three here in Ben Salem, team 3314. They were, they were winners at the first Mid-Atlantic Championships last year, event finalists up in Hartford this year, and Innovation Control, Control Award winners twice so far. It's Mechanical Mustangs. And neatly ranked at number eight this weekend, Team 6226. They were event finalists at the Happer Horsham District this year. Out of Burlington City, it's the Blue Devils. Coming on down the blue lines, Team 7587 leads the pack. Competing with their robot, Mick Messenger, named after two of their high school music teachers, it's Metuchen Momentum. And their partner in success, Team 9100. They were event finalists at Seneca, and they won the Rookie Inspiration Award winner here last year. It's Robo Roses. And rounding it out, it is three, two, one! They're our newest Hall of Fame team here in first. They also have a Dean's List semifinalist this year in Liliana. It's the Robo Lancers. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. We've got 20 more qualification matches to go and six strong teams on field right now. Cyber Crusaders 272 getting their second note scored for the Red Alliance. Over on blue, 321, the Robo Lancers picking up another note in Autonomous and scoring it high. Their partners, Robo Roses, moving during Autonomous. That's enough to give the Blue Alliance advantage as drivers take control. 75-87, Metouch and Momentum scoring a note in the amplifier for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, 33-14, Mechanical Mustangs making that note soar over the bar line. Helping get it cycled back to their partners, 272, the Cyber Crusaders. That note they're taking themselves. Cyber Crusaders just a little off the mark. Meanwhile, Mechanical Mustangs up and good with that amplified speaker for the Red Alliance as the Cyber Crusaders help get another note in. Over on the Blue Alliance, Metouch and Momentum and Robo Lancers at the Blue Subwoofer. Lining up to get their shot, Metouch and just off the mark. Meanwhile, Mechanical Mustangs able to race past the Robo Roses. That robot not thorny enough for them. By the right side of the field, Mechanical Mustangs and Cyber Crusaders scoring in that amplified speaker as the Robo Lancers race past. Red Alliance robots trying to make their way back to their side of the field. Robo Lancers and Mechanical Mustangs hit a tete a tete with under one minute to go. By the blue source zone, that's the Robo Roses team 9100. They've got a note in hand as they cross the center line, bumping right into Mechanical Mustangs. Both able to hold on to their notes as they make their way back towards their respective speakers. Another note placement by Mechanical, by Metouch and Momentum for the Blue Alliance 7587. Their partners, Robo Lancers, as well. With 30 seconds remaining, 33 14, the Mechanical Mustangs, they're able to place one trap note. Cyber Crusaders lining up, getting a second trap note. That'll get five points for each note in there. Can their partners, Blue Devils, are up as well. Red Alliance is happy with that. Human player not able to spotlight. That leaves with seven seconds remaining our action to the Blue Alliance. Robo Lancers trying to soar high, but their arm is touching the ground. Can the Robo Roses join them? Robo Roses able to park at the end, as do Matouch and Momentum. A fantastic, exciting end to qualification match 52.
first qualification match, 52, with a score of 92 to 45. Four ranking points for all the teams helping move up. 62-26, the Blue Devils up to seventh. Mechanical Mustangs hold on to third. And 272 Cyber Crusaders take over our number one rank. Let's go, Tommy. All right, we are now ready to introduce our teams for match number 53 with the Red Alliance Team 2720. They were event finalists at Seneca, quality award winners, and they've got a Dean's List semifinalist in Andrew. It's Red Watch Robotics. And currently ranked number six, Team 5401. They're our hosts this weekend, and they won the Team Spirit Award at Happer Horsham, and there's no, we're, it's clear why. It's the fighting Robotic Owls. And they're partnered with Team 9015. They won the Engineering Inspiration Award at this year's Allentown event. They were event winners at Robbinsville last year, and they too have a Dean's List semifinalist in Sophia. It's questionable engineering. On the blue line, please introduce Team 2180. It's my pleasure, out of Steiner High School East. All of their mentors were members of Zero Gravity, really showing that strong alumni connection. It's Zero Gravity. And Team 484. They were district championship finalists last year at First Mid-Atlantic. They've already got a judges award under their belt this year. It's Robo Force. And please also introduce Team 87. One of our oldest teams here. They're in their 28th season at Arancocas Valley Region High School. It's Diablo.
Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Fighting Robotic Owls with the first note scored for the Red Alliance, followed right by their partners, Questionable Engineering. Fighting Robotic Owls, they've already got a second note, trying to run a third, it's in, it's good. As their partners, Red Watch, get ready to move towards the center line. Fighting Robotic Owls get a fourth note. They're able to complete the first bar of this song as we drivers take control. For the blue line, Zero Gravity is able to get a note into the blue speaker. 484 RoboForce lined up at that amp. It's in, it's good. As we've got their partners, 87 Red Devils. Diablo just waiting for their shot. As 2720 Red Watch deftly moves past, back towards their red speaker. By the right side of the field, that's RoboForce leaving the blue source zone with a note in hand. Following right behind is the fighting robotic owls soaring across the field, getting a note in their talon. 2180 Zero Gravity able to score a note in the speaker. Running right past and getting yet another off the floor. They make their way under the stage, trying to get past Zero Gravity, doing a do si -do with Red Watch. These teams moving fast and furious. Action in the center field, that's RoboForce and 5401 fighting Robotic Owls. The Owls score yet another note in that amplified speaker. Red Watch following right behind. With under one minute remaining, the Red Alliance has already completed their melody. Action by the blue side of the field, Red Watch escaping the source zone. 90-15, questionable engineering. Able to get up and out and maneuver out as well. They're cycling back and forth between that red source zone and center line. RoboForce starting to do the same for blue. Going back between the blue source zone and the center line. Passing notes off to their partners. Zero engineering. Zero gravity 2180. With 25 seconds remaining action by the red stage. That's Red Watch and Fighting Robotic Gals trying to line up on stage together. If both robots can join, that'll get them harmony. With 12 seconds remaining, fighting robotic owls latch on their swing and they're at their mark on stage. Can the Red Watch join them? Five seconds remaining, zero gravity racing for the blue lines with two seconds, one. Robo Force up at the last second for the blue lines. Red Watch doing the same for red. An exciting match. We may have our new high score of the day. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. comes away with a victory with a new high score of today, 108 to 39. Three ranking points for the Red Alliance. Two points for the win, one point for that melody. That helps the fighting robotic owls hold on to that sixth ranked spot.
We are ready to go for our very next match, 54. Tommy, please introduce on the Red Italians team, 17-12. They, the, they won the Gracious Professionalism Award at our Seneca event this year. It's Dogma. And team 316. They were the event winners at Seneca, as well as the first Impact Award winners there. It's the Lunatics. And Team 2016. Out of Ewing High School with their robot, Mori, named for one of their sponsors and mentors, it's the Mighty Monkey Wrenchers. Down on the Blue Lions, starting off with Team 6921. They're the Imagery Award winners from Seneca this year and last year. It's the Technados. Their partner, Team 5490. They were event finalists last year here in Ben Salem, looking for a win this year. It's the Dark Bite. Rounding out this powerful blue line, Team 427. Even with their low number, they're a rookie this year. Spinning off of Team 321, they won the Imagery Award at Hapro Horsham event. It's Lancelot. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 54 underway. For the blue lines, we've already got three notes scored from the fancy work of 6921 Technados and 427 Lance a lot. Technados tracking down yet another note. It's in, it's good for the blue lines. That'll give them the advantage, but not by much. 
Thanks for the handiwork of Lunatex, Dogma, and Mighty Monkey Wrenches for Red. Mighty Monkey Wrenches at the center line, working to pick up those notes and collect them for their alliance partners. Dogma having some issues. RFTA was looking at their robot at the beginning of the match. They've got strong partners in Lunatex. Lunatex able to score a note in the speaker. Their partners, Mighty Monkey Wrenches, aiming for the amp. Over on the blue side of the field, that's Lancelot scoring high for blue. Dark bite just off the mark. They're making their way back towards the blue source zone. Dark bite taking a bite out of that note. They've got it in their claws. Their partners, Tech Nato, swirling towards the source zone. Picking up yet another note. Dark bite able to score at the high speaker. That'll get them two points for that note. Meanwhile, Lancelot raising their scepter high. They're able to get a note scored in the amp for the Blue Lions. 316 Lunatech soaring back across the field with that multi-articulated arm. They're able to aim. The note bounces out. Mighty Monkey wrenches, trying to throw a wrench into the works for Technados and Dark Bite. Dark Bite able to move past the Monkey wrenches, but not enough for the Technados. Technados squeak past going and cross back towards their blue amplifier. Dark Bite lining up for the Blue Alliance. That's a note in and good for blue. Lunatech scoring high in the speaker for the Red Alliance. Monkey wrenches once again causing a traffic jam, making this area of the field look like I-95 at rush hour. That guitar riff means we've got 20 seconds remaining. The dark bite for the Blue Lions. They're lining up on the stage. They're at their mark, seeing if they can climb up. Lancelot trying to get back, but the mighty monkey wrenches. Once again, acting as the blocker at there. With two seconds, Technado's able to get up at the last moment. Dark bite is in the spotlight for Blue. Lunatech's hanging high for red. We'll be back with the score in just a moment. comes away with a win in qualification match 54 by a score of 67 to 40. Two ranking points over there. Help move 54-90, the dark bite up in the rankings. Technados hold on to eighth. Mr. Wexler. Yes, Mr. Zwizlak. It's time for us to introduce our next teams here on match number 
55. Let's start with three, two, one. With their robot Leonardo da Vinci, it's the Robo Lancers. And team 4373. With the cuteness machine, it's Rubotics. And currently ranked number four, team with, 50 to 25, 59. With the robot Bothoven, it's Normality Zero. On the blue line side, we have team 9027. Driving Pathfinder, it's Path to Domination. And team 9100. With their robot Thorn, it's the Robo Roses. And 4575. With their robot Lyra, it's Gemini. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 55. We're playing to 70 today. For the Red Alliance, that's Rubotics able to get score one, two notes as their partner's normality zero moving. For the Red Alliance, path to domination, making their own path over on blue. As the Robo Roses also moved during autonomous. Even strength, tie score. We've got an impact to the center of the field. That sends a bearing flying off of 321, the Robo Lancers. They had that arm fall off the last time they were out here. Looks like they've switched into defensive mode. I suspect we're going to see a tussle between Robo Roses and Robo Lancers throughout this match. Rubotics at center field. They've got a note in hand, but there comes Gemini. Gemini plowing their way through to try and get to the source zone. Traffic jam over here. Robo Lancers moving out of the way. That way they don't incur a penalty. Gemini exiting the source zone. And we've got a tussle between Path to Domination and the Robo Lancers. Path sneaking in. They're able to get the note and run under the blue stage. Meanwhile, that bump from the Robo Lancers causes the Robo Thorns to deploy their arms. With a minute 14 remaining. Robots have been scoring fast and furious. Robotics for the Red Alliance lining up at the blue, at the red speaker. That scores. 43-73. Robotics bumps the bumps the bumper off of 9027. Path to domination. That'll cause an automatic disable from Path to Domination, as that is a safety issue having a bumper off the field. Gemini getting caught up on said bumper now. With 43 seconds remaining. There's still only three points separating these teams. 321 Robo Lancers waiting patiently, looking like they're getting ready to climb the stage. Gemini making their way for the Blue Alliance towards the blue stage as well. They want to make sure they get the points for that ranking. 20 seconds remaining in this match. Human players starting to throw those high notes. If they can get it scored onto the microphones, that'll be additional bonus points. Robo Roses are up for the Blue Alliance with five seconds remaining. Robo Lancers up for red. Can Normality Zero join them? As time expires, not enough juice for Normality Zero. It's going to be close for Robotics as well. Our refs are going to take a look. We'll be back with the final scores in just a moment.
We've got the scores going up on screen and in qualification. That's it. It's a tie with a score of 35 to 35. Both alliances coming away with one ranking point in this tie. Here we go for match number 56. On the red line, we have team four, 86. With their robot Panther 25, it's the Positronic Panthers. And team 25, 54. With their robot Loch Ness, it's the Warhawks. And two, oh, three. With their robot Philip, it's the Superbots. On the blue line side of the field, team 62, 26. Driving blue Cipher three, it's the Blue Devils. And team 27, 20. With their robot overture, it's Red Watch. And 21, 80 rounds out the blue alliance. With their robot eruption, it's zero gravity. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 56 underway. For the Red Alliance, the Warhawks moving to the podium, placing that note in the speaker. Superbots move out of the way as their partners, Positronic Panthers, line up, lined up at the subwoofer. That's where drivers are going to take control as the Blue Devil 6226 race across field. We've seen their effective cycler. Googly eyes and all, scooping notes from one side of the field and sending them over to the amp. It's an effective strategy for them as they dump it as well. It's awesome at this point of the con competition to see how the build strategy comes into play here. Over on the red alliance, that's the Positronic Panthers. They're using their swerve drive to maneuver and pick up a note off of the floor that swerve drive has been popular this year as it allows teams to deftly move around the field. 
Warhawks using the notch in their, using their frame to line up with the podium to get that consistent high shot in the red speaker. For the blue lines, 2180 zero gravity racing across field with those fast motors. They're lighting up for the blue amp. That note is just off the mark. We'll see how they can correct. They're able to pick up off the floor. Notice how that bumper is slightly raised. Just enough clearance to get the notes in. Zero gravity lining up for the Blue Alliance by the amplifier. Meanwhile, Positronic Panthers for the red, able to get a note in the amp for red. Pushing match at center of the field, Warhawks between the Blue Devils. That distraction's enough to let the red watch. 27-20, get to the blue source zone. High impact Warhawks making it difficult for the red watch. They're able to still spin around a nice pirouette and twirl. 2180 zero gravity trying to get back toward the blue source zone, unable to do so. They did run towards the blue stage. These teams moving in perfect harmony. 203 Superbox placing a note on the floor with 20 seconds remaining. They reach that arm down to scoop it up. We'll see what they're able to do with it. For the Blue Alliance, Red Watch climbs up as they already have a spotlight. Blue Devils and Red Zero Gravity join them in harmony with three seconds remaining. Then the Positronic Panthers climb up. They're not able to climb, but they're parked on the stage. Their partners are in the air. That's the Superbots. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. with a score of 52 to 32. Four ranking points for the Blue Alliance. Helped to move all those teams up. That's two points for the win, one point for the melody, one point for the ensemble. That helps move all the Blue Alliance robots up. Zero gravity moving to 22nd, Red Watch into 11th, and 62, 26, the Blue Devils, they're in fifth.
Hey, Tommy, let's announce our teams. And I'm looking up at 54-1 being our seventh-ranked team this weekend. Those are our hosts with their robot, Delilah. It's the Fighting Robotic Owls. And currently ranked number one, Team 272. With their robot, Godzilla, it's the Cyber Crusaders. And their lucky partners, Team 8714. With their robot, Centurion, it's the Robo Griffins. Robo Griffins were event winners this year at Montgomery. Last year, excuse me. Let's welcome on the blue line, Team 7414. They won the Gracious Professionalism Award here last year with their robot, Sonic. It's Retro Robotics. And Team 9416. They won the Rookie All-Star Award at Springside Chestnut Hill. It's Ethwa with their robot, Sean. And joining this alliance, Team 5666. Their finalist last year at the Robbinsville event with their robot Morado, it's Purple Lightning. Trevor's behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match, 57 underway. Fighting Robotic Owls once again scoring in the red speaker. They've got two notes in, looking for a third, seeing if they can finish a four-note auto once again. Over on the blue side of the field, that's Retro Robotic scoring with a four-note auto as well. Between Retro Robotics, Purple Lightning, and Ithwa, that gives the blue lines the advantage as drivers take control. Retro Robotics trying to get across the field. They're hitting traffic with fighting robotic owls and the Cyber Crusaders. Crusaders able to get a note between that blue robot sandwich between Purple Lightning and Ithwa, 94-16 and 56-66. The crowd is electric, exactly what you'd expect at the rock concert of this qualification match, 57. Cyber Crusaders racing across the field, lining up at the red amplifier. It's in, it's good. But the Blue Alliance still has the lead as Purple Lightning lines up with the subwoofer. They score for the Blue Alliance with a minute 25 to go. Retro Robotics in and good in the blue speaker as well. At the red source zone, that's 272 Cyber Crusaders trying to get across the field. But there's Ithwa the International Operative of World Affairs. No matter, 87-14 Robo Griffins able to score a note, followed right by their partners, Fighting Robotic Owls and Cyber Crusaders. They've got the triple lit, triple lit for the Red Alliance with one minute to go. These teams trading scores, trading the lead back and forth according to the real-time score. Advantage to Red. Retro Robotic 74-14 moving under the blue stage. Not enough for Robotic Cows to deter them. Retro Robotics able to score that note in the blue speaker. Fighting Robotic Cows scoring in the blue in the red speaker and latch onto the stage for an early hang. Cyber Crusaders, their partners, they've got a note in hand lining up. They want to get that trap score yet again. <laughs> Meanwhile, Retro Robotics going back for another note. They're keeping in mind exactly how much time they have. Cyber Crusaders for the red. They've got the trap notes scored. Their partners, Robo Griffins, trying to get on stage. With five seconds remaining, Retro Robotics get ploys. Retro Robotics placing another note for the Blue Alliance. 5666 Purple Lightning parked. What an exciting qualification match. 57. Real time score shows it's tied. It may come down to the stage. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment.
qualification match 57 by a score of 66 to 55. Four ranking points for the Red Alliance in a clean match. Helps move everybody in that alliance up. Robo Griffins up to 19th. Fighting Robotic Owls up to fourth. And the Cyber Crusaders anchoring the number one seat. Are we ready for match number 58? We are on the Red Alliance team 4750. With their robot Bert 12, it's Bert. Currently ranked number two, team 5895. With their robot Itsumiva, it's Petty Robotics. Number nine ranked team 2722. With their robot Octave, it's Charge. Tom, I think we have a ranked team over the Blue Alliance too, but let's start out with 1647. With their robot, the Iron Toaster, it's the Iron Devils. And team 103. With a robot named Sue, it's Cyber Sonics. And team 7587. With the Mick Messenger, it's Metuchen Momentum. There we go. Thank you, team. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. 58.95, Petty scoring a note for the Red Alliance in a second one as well. Their partners charge able to get 
a note scored. That's five notes so far for the Red Alliance. 58.95 Petty, they've got five notes scored by themselves in autonomous mode. Cybersonic's able to get at least four, showing why they're part of the top ranked teams in this competition. Red Alliance has the advantage as drivers take control. Cybersonic's getting out of the red blue charge station, racing back towards their side of the field. With Matouch and Momentum lined up over by that blue amplifier. Cybersonic's able to score in the speaker, followed right by the Iron Devils. Iron Devils trying to distract Petty Robotics, but Petty's still able to engage. They've got that note in hand, racing across the field. It's in, it's good for two points. Meanwhile, Burt now is in a blue robot sandwich between Cybersonics and the Iron Devils. Cybersonics and Iron Devils both in the blue source zone. Burt waiting for them. Burt gives a little bit of a nudge to the Cybersonics. Cybersonics still able to get free, following charge under the blue speak under the blue stage. With a minute 15 to go in this match, real time score shows the advantage to Red. And we see why with Charge lining up at the red subwoofer. That's one note scored. Petty following right behind. That red speaker is now amplified. We'll see if Petty and Charge can get back in enough time to score. Burt on the defensive for the Red Alliance. Watching out, here comes the Iron Devils pushing around like it's nothing. 45 seconds remaining. Both teams have already completed a melody. We'll see if we can get another six ranking point match from this one. Robots going fast and furious, but touch and momentum bringing their way to the red side of the field, seeing if they can get additional notes for the blue. Iron Devils trying to get back to their side of the field, but Petty in the way. Petty scoring a note in the red speaker for the red alliance. That guitar riff means we've got 20 seconds remaining. Charge 27, 22 at the red source. Lining up by the Red stage, that's Burt trying to get into their parking zone. Matusha Momentum still able to get past. Petty with five seconds remaining, they're on stage. Can the Iron Devils get up in time? That's gonna be close, but their partner Cybersonics are on the stage. This match is under review by the referees. We'll have the final scores in just a moment. Qualification match 58 with a score of 90 to 71. Four ranking points for the Red Alliance. Helps move Burt up in the rankings. Petty and Charge hold on to their number two and number ninth rankings, respectively.
Okay, we are now ready for qualification match number 59. Please introduce the team on the Red Alliance 33, 14. The Mechanical Mustangs with their robot Scorpion. And team 54, 90. With their robot Jamie, it's the Dark Bite. And team 43, 73. Once again, with my favorite robot name, Cuteness Machine, it's Rubotics. Coming down to the blue line, three of team, whoop, 16, 40. With Dubot 19, it's Sabotage. Team 2180. With their robot Eruption, it's Zero Gravity. And also on the blue lines, 90, 15. With their robot The Count, it's Questionable Engineering. Thank you. Okay. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Two by 19, that's 1640 Sabotage, scoring the first note for the Blue Lions, followed quickly by their partners, 2180. Zero Gravity and 9015 Questionable Engineering. Dubot searching those notes down. That'll give the Blue Alliance the advantage 29 to 17 according to our real time score as drivers take control. 3314 Mechanical Mustang sending a note back towards their partners, the Dark Bite. Dark Bite not able to capitalize yet. But Robotics, their cuteness machine following up, they've got a note placed. 5490 dark bite they've got the they've got the second note do re mi fa that's four notes for the red alliance in that short period of time both teams have engaged the cooperation bonus by getting by getting notes into their amplifier pressing the buttons that lowers the threshold of notes needed to be able to get that melody ranking point we already see on the real time score 10 notes scored so far for the Red Alliance. Make that 11, thanks to Rubotics. For the Blue Alliance, 2180. Zero Gravity lined up at the subwoofer. Questionable Engineering and Sabotage scoring, making that a perfect duet. The Blue Alliance leading right now as we just have over one minute remaining in this match. By the Red Source Zone, that's a Dark Bite and Mechanical Mustangs. Racing back across the field, Mechanical Mustangs score a high note in that amplified speaker. Dark Bite lining up, seeing if they can capitalize on that amplification. They make it loud with an additional note right at the end. That gives them 15. That's one ranking point for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance amplifies their speaker, 90-15, questionable hearing, engineering, off the mark. Sabotage able to score. That'll get five points for that note. Under 30 seconds remaining, this game is neck and neck, guitar neck and guitar neck, if you will. With that rock and rift, we've got 20 seconds remaining. At the red stage, that's Mechanical Mustang trying to hang on to that chain. Dark Bite lining up, waiting for their moment to shine. Mechanical Mustangs rising up, seeing if they can get that trap note scored. It looks like it's just off the mark. They're still on stage as time expires. 1640 Sabotage parked for blue. Qualification match 59 with a score of 68 to 60. Three ranking points for the Blue Lions helps all of those teams move up in the rankings. But by engaging that melody, getting one ranking point, 33-14 Mechanical Mustang still holding on to that number three spot. Remember, the top eight teams have the ability to be Alliance captains. 
in our alliance selection. Coming up at the end of qualification matches, we're 10 away, friends. We are ready to introduce our teams now on the Red Alliance for the Red Alliance. Let's introduce three, three, two, one, go. No, it's the Robo Lancers. 6921. That's the Technados. And as my friend Cordell works on his bot, Team 486. The Positronic Panthers. Now coming down for the Blue Lions, Team 6226. The Blue Devils. <laughs> and Team 8714. The Robo Griffins. And let's round out this alliance with Team 484. Robo Force. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 60 underway. Roboforce for the Blue Lines. 484 placing a note high in the blue speaker. Their partners, Blue Devils, getting a note scored in the amp. Meanwhile, for the Red Alliance, 6921, the Technados lining up. They shoot, they score. That's a note placed in the speaker for the Red Alliance. Real time score shows the advantage to Red as drivers take control. At the center field, 8714 Robo Griffins making their way back to the blue speaker with a note in hand. At center field, that's 321, the Robo Lancers. They're able to bump and nudge the blue 
Devils just enough that that note pops out. Blue Devils have to go back to the source for more. We'll call Cyber Robo Lancers being a high impedance robot at the moment. It's one of the worst things for an audio technician, high impedance. Robo Force and Positronic Panthers with a tete a tete, the dosi do under the red stage. Panthers able to outmaneuver the two blue robots getting to the subwoofer. They score that note for the Red Alliance. For the Blue Alliance, 87-14, that is the Robo Griffins. They're under the blue stage working to place their note. Meanwhile, Robo Force under the red stage trying to get past that massive robot that is 321, the Robo Lancers. Robo Lancers and Blue Devils in a pushing match. Robo Lancers with the victor right now. Can the Blue Devils outmaneuver them? Tank Drive versus Robo Lancers in their Swerve Drive modules. 50 seconds remaining. Robo Force and Positronic Panthers fighting off, facing off at the center line. Both robots trying to get past one another to make their way back to the center field. Panthers in a Blue Alliance sandwich between the Robo Griffins and Robo Force. This is a strong defensive match with six very evenly matched robots. Technados quickly and quietly making their way back to the red source zone, going across field, maneuvering past Robo Force. With 20 seconds, we're at end game. Blue Devils trying to get under that, get past 321 Robo Lancers, but they're in the stage zone. Robo Griffins, meanwhile, they are latched onto that chain, having trouble getting high enough. As time expires, that's gonna count for a park for the Robo Griffins and Robo Force. Meanwhile, the Technados, they're on their mark for red, swinging high on stage. qualification match 60 with a score of 63 to 15. Three ranking points help the Red Alliance move up in the rankings. Technados moving up to seventh. Hey, 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 we're ready to announce 
Match 61. Let's start out with Team 9100. The Robo Roses. 58.95. Petty Robotics. And rounding it out, 2016. The Mighty Monkey Wrenches. On the blue side of the field, let's introduce 2722. Charge Robotics. Their partner, 316. The Lunatics. And 103. Cybersonics. Robot fans, while we're waiting, I have good news from our FTA. For those of you engaged in it, the first API is up and running again. <laughs> that means you can get real-time results of this event at firstinspires.org. Yay for APIs! Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 61. Notes flying fast and furious. The cacophony, if you will. 316 Lunatex shooting from middle of their zone. Going back, getting an additional note. That last one off the mark. Cybersonics in there as well. 44 to 32 at the end of autonomous mode. You're talking about 76 points scored in autonomous from these six robots. That's what their machines can do. Now watch when their drivers take over. Over the red alliance, that's Petty, 5895. They're able to place in the red amp. Their partners, Robo Roses, lining up at the red subwoofer as Mighty Monkey Wrenches line up for the amp as well. Both notes just off the mark. That's enough for the red alliance to capitalize. 103 Cybersonic sending a note, sailing, soaring back towards their side of the field. Cybersonics under the speaker for the Blue Alliance, lining up to see if they can shoot. It's in, it's good. Excellent note placement with a minute 30 to go. The duet, the match set of the Mighty Monkey Wrenches and Robo Roses for the Blue Alliance 2016. Looks like they are having a percussive reset. Waiting for them to engage with their partners. Petty, they're able to score a note with that blue amplified speaker. Robo Roses with the excellent shot right at the end. Over one minute to go. Blue Alliance has the advantage. And we're seeing the fancy work of Charge. 27-22, they score a note into that amp. Into the blue amp, they've got another note in hand. Lining up for the speaker, it's good. Collision at center field, Robo Roses and Cybersonics. Cybersonics bouncing their way around to the blue speaker. That's team 103. No matter, they're able to still get that note scored into the speaker. Their partners, Lunatech, score with the blue speaker as Petty and Cybersonics collide. Petty Robotics underneath the blue stage, racing their way back for the Red Alliance by the red stage. They're next to the podium. They shoot on the move. They've got their arms scaled up high looking for that harmony bonus that known as Robo Roses. We're at 20 seconds, actions toward the stages. We're gonna see if these teams can exit the wings. We've got a blue spotlight, we've got a red spotlight. 103 Cybersonics trying to climb with seven seconds remaining. It's gonna be close, Lunatex might be on the floor. For the Red Alliance, Petty is up, Muddy Monkey Wrenches is up. Robo Roses are parked at the end. 
What an electric match. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. We've got the scores in qualification match 61 for Blue Grace 2. The Blue Alliance with a score of 92 to 70. A clean match. The Red Blue Alliance comes away with three ranking points. All teams holding on to their current ranks. Lunatechs move up to seventh, move up to tenth. Cybersonics are in sixth. Petty Robotics is in second. Charge is in ninth, right on the cusp. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of movement as we come to our Alliance selection. This is match 62 of 70. We're coming on down to it. I'm sure you guys are out in the pit scouting and talking to each other about what you might do for line selection. Because those top eight and 10, they're starting to tighten up and get very consistent. So let's introduce for the Red Alliance team, 9027. Path to domination. And their partner, 9416. Ithwa. Also on the Red Alliance team, 2554. The Warhawks. Hey, 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 guess who's ranked number three so far this weekend? Team 33, 14. The Mechanical Mustangs. And they're partnered with 45.75. Gemini. And let's hear one more time about 16.40. Sabotage. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. 
The overture to qualification match 62 begins with these robots taking their cues from autonomous mode. 1640 sabotage for the Blue Lions lining up at the podium. They've got a note in claw. Their partners Gemini waiting for the opportunity to drive as mechanical Mustangs able to score additional notes. That gives the Blue Alliance the advantage as drivers take control. Moving into the second movement of this concerto, 90-27, path to domination. They've got these, they're able to get a note scored in the amp. They engage the cooperation bonus as do their partner 1640 for the blue. Team 94-16, our rookies here, Ethwa. They've got a note, it bounces out. They'll have to chase it back down. Meanwhile, their partners, Warhawks, also just off the mark. That's the advantage that the mechanical Mustangs need. They send a note flying back to their side of the field. 1640 sabotage at that blue source. They're able to outmaneuver the three Red Alliance robots as Gemini for the Blue Alliance scores into the blue speaker. Mechanical Mustangs scoring into the amp as are their partners, 1640 sabotage lining up. It's up, it's good with a minute 10 to go. Path to domination, 90-27. Definitely maneuvering that do -si do They do the Watsusi getting that note and lining up at the red subwoofer. It's in, it's good. Warhawk still a little under pitch. A little bit of vocal training will help them out. As they make their lives, the lives of Mechanical Mustangs difficult. Sabotage need to swerve around the red stage to get past and back to the blue side of the field with 38 seconds remaining. By the blue source zone, that's Mechanical Mustangs trying to get past the Warhawks. 45-75, Gemini also with a note in hand. Bit of friendly fire as Gemini runs into the path to destruction. <coughs> path making a path of their own as they pick up a note off the floor for the Red Alliance. Mechanical Mustangs raising up for blue. They've got a note in hand, seeing if they can get that trap note scored. Sabotage joining them on stage for blue with six seconds remaining. 90-27, Path to Domination, reaching up to see if they can join on stage for red. They're able to park as time expires. And we reach the coda of match 62. wins qualification match 62 with a score of 78 to 26. Three ranking points help out the Blue Lions. Gemini moves into 14th, Sabotage up to 10th, and the Mechanical Mustangs solidify that number three rank.
Let us introduce the teams for qualification match 63 of 70. On the red lines, 203. Superbots. And team 1647. The Iron Devils. In front of me is the number four ranked team, Team 5401. The Fighting Robotic Owls. For the Blue Lions, get ready for Team 4750. It's B-E-R-T, Bert. And Team 87. Diablo. And 2720. Red Watch Robotics. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. 5401 Fighting Robotic Owls. They've got two notes already for the Red Alliance. Red Watch over on the Blue Alliance. Just missing picking up that additional note. Meanwhile, their partner's 87, Diablo. They're waiting with their partner's Bert. Fighting Robotic Owls, they've got that multi-note auto dialed in. That gives the Red Alliance the advantage as drivers take control. They're already at six notes scored total for the Red Alliance. By the Red Source Zone, that's Superbots leaving. They've got a note in hand as Iron Devils join them with the Iron Toaster. But Diablo's making it difficult for the Iron Devils to get past. Iron Devils still just rush right through. RFTA and CSA looking at 5401 fighting robotic owls. They're taking a rest of Sejura. That they, this score shows they still have plenty of time to play in the match. A minute 30 left. 4750 Burt waiting in the wings for 203 Superbots. Superbots lined up in the subwoofer. They're still able to shoot even with the distraction of Burt. By the blue stage, that's Diablo once again faring off against 1647, the Iron Devils. Iron Devils able to win that matchup as they make their way back towards the red subwoofer. But now they have to get past Burt to get there. 5401, fighting robotic cows. They've come back to life. They're the fighting robotic phoenixes now. 48 seconds remaining, 27-20, Red Watch able to score a note in the blue speaker. They're lined up, it's up, it's good, yet for another two points for the Blue Alliance. Diablo and Iron Devils once again going toe-to-toe, -toe, claw to claw, horn to horn. Iron Devils able to race past Diablo that time. Now they're running into their friends, fighting robotic owls. Meanwhile, Superbots lining up at the red stage with 20 seconds remaining. They're looking for some harmony. 87 Diablo, they've got one claw on the chain. See if they can adjust with 10 seconds remaining. Soup going up. Can the Robotic Owls with four seconds remaining recover? Three, two, one. All six robots parked on stage. At we hit the end of qualification match 63.
qualification match by a score of 65 to 27. Two ranking points for the Red Alliance. That allows the Fighting Robotic Owls to hold on to that number four rank. Robot fans, as a reminder, you can take a look at that QR code to get additional details for match 63's results. Let's introduce our teams for qualification match 64. And a little quick reminder before we start this match, we're gonna have senior pictures, senior photos on this field as soon as we finish qualification match 70. For the Red Alliance, team 17-12. Dogma. And team 74-14. Retro Robotics. Team 427, Lancelot. And coming on down to the Blue Lines, Team 7587. Mid touch and momentum. Currently holding in that onto that number one spot, Team 272. The Cyber Crusaders. Rounding out this blue line, team 5666. Purple Lightning. Behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. 74-14, Red Robotics able to get the first note and the third note. That gives them the triad for the Red Alliance getting another note scored in. Tracking down yet another. That one unable to get it in. Engaged into their machine. That's still enough to give the Red Alliance the advantage as drivers take control. 272 Cyber Crusaders, they're looking to hold on to that number one ranking. They're in front of the blue amplifier, raising up that note. It's in, it's good. Both teams have already engaged the cooperation bonus, lowering that threshold. They need to get the ranking point down to 15. 427 Lancelot taking a big hit of themselves against the stage. They say, podium, we don't need no stinking podium. Meanwhile, 5666, Purple Lightning for the Blue Alliance, moving past Dogma. Dogma looking a little bit lighter this time around. They're in a defensive mode. Dogma making it difficult for the Cyber Crusaders to get to that blue source zone. Cyber Crusaders still able to do it and get a note in hand. Meanwhile, at the center of the line, that's 7414 Retro Robotics spinning their way past Metouch of Momentum. Both of those teams lining up with their respective speakers. Retro Robotics able to score for red. 272 Cyber Crusaders just off the mark for blue with under a minute to go. do -si do between Purple Lightning and Dogma. Purple Lightning getting back to the blue side of the field. Lancelot racing past, bumming into their partners under the red stage. 
Lancelot able to score a note for the Red Alliance into that speaker. Now here's Purple Lightning. Purple Lightning and Dogma once again tussling by the red stage. Dogma guarding that, so, that wing. Meanwhile, 7414 Retro Robotics, they've lost a bumper. That's gonna be a disable on them with 16 seconds remaining. That could be the advantage that the Blue Alliance needs. Matucha Momentum lining up for the Blue Lions by the stage with eight seconds remaining. Five seconds to go. Dogma, they're parked for the Red Alliance. Two, one. We've got a spotlit note on the Blue Alliance over the Matucha Momentum robot. We'll be back with the final scores to this match in just a moment. by a score of 57 to 36. Three ranking points for the Red Alliance help all those teams moving up in the rankings. Retro Robotics taking the biggest hop up to 10th. All right, we're up to match number 65 of 70 here today. We are winding down, but let's wind it back up as highly charged as we can and introduce team 4575. Gemini. And team three, two, one. Robo Lancers. And 2180. Zero gravity. Currently sitting in the fifth rank position, team 2559. Normality zero. And we just swapped number ones. Now in the number one spot, team 5895. Petty Robotics. And they're partnered with team 9416. International operatives of World Affairs, Pithwa. Hey, robot fans, while we're waiting, this in from our safety team. They're requesting that you turn in your safety cards to pit admin by noon. Once again, if you still have safety cards, please turn them in at noon, by noon, to pit admin.
Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 65 underway. Zero Gravity and Gemini scoring for the Red Alliance. Two notes already up. Meanwhile, for the Blue Alliance, that's Petty racing across the center line with a note in hand. They're able to score it as time runs out of autonomous mode. That'll give the advantage to the Blue Alliance as drivers take control. Team 94-16, Ithwa at the Blue Source. They've got a note in hand. They're able to get past Gemini. Gemini at center field trying to collect those notes to get them back to their partners. Meanwhile, 5895 Petty, neck and neck with the Robo Lancers, trying to skirt past. They're able to do so. Petty lining up. They're got a note scored for the blue speaker. Both teams have engaged the cooperation bonus. The threshold to get that ranking point is 15. For the Red Alliance, zero gravity trying to target their speaker. Robo Lancers right there, making it difficult for Normality Zero to get past. Robo Lancers throwing their weight around. The pride of Broad Street. Showing that they're one of the Broad Street strong robots. Meanwhile, Petty is able to outmaneuver 321 Robo Lancers. They've got two notes in their intake as they race across the field. They're able to score one of them. By the way, you can't do that. No. Traffic in midfield, Robo Lancers once again trying to get into Petty's way. Petty making, using the distraction of the stage, trying to get past the Robo Lancers and Gemini. They're able to get to their source zone. At the center field, it's the gauntlet of Gemini and Ithwa. Gemini standing there, Ithwa on guard, but zero gravity for the Red Alliance, swerving past. With 23 seconds remaining. That sound means we're at the guitar riff. We're seeing high notes flying. We've got a spotlight on 2559 Normality Zero for the Blue Alliance as their partners Petty are also on stage. With five seconds remaining, can Zero Gravity join their partners, Robo Lancers? Robo Lancers swinging from the red stage. Two red robots parked. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. Qualification match 65 with a score of 69 to 32. Three ranking points for the Blue Alliance helps Ethwa move up in the rankings. Normality zero at Petty hold on to their fifth and number one ranks, respectively. Robot fans, a friendly reminder we ask you to please keep all the aisleways clear. That means please do not stand by the black pipe and drape surrounding the field. We ask you to cle please keep all of the aisleways clear. Thank you. Also, also a reminder, robot fans, we will take our senior picture on the field following qualification match 70. If you're a senior student, not a senior senior like me, if you're a senior student, we ask you to be on the field for our senior picture at the end of qualification match 70.
get ready for qualification match number 66. Introducing on the Red Alliance team 2554. Putting their robot onto the field, it's the Warhawks. Team 9015. Questionable engineering. And team 1647. The Iron Devils. On the Blue Alliance team 103. Currently in sixth, it's the Cybersonics. Team 5490. The Dark Bite. And team 8714. Robo Griffins. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 66 underway here with autonomous mode. For the blue line, Cybersonics 103. They've got one, two notes, aiming for a third. Meanwhile, they're over on the red alliance. That's the Warhawks at the center line. As their partners, questionable engineering. They've got the speed, they've got the strength. Just off the mark for that note. That'll give the blue lines the advantage as drivers take control. Robo Griffins 8714 by the blue subwoofer trying to get a hold of that note. But there's the Iron Devils. Iron Devils getting a note of their own from the red source zone. We'll see them make their way across the field in a moment. At the center line, that's 9015 questionable engineering. They're able to get a note in hand, get it out of the grasp of the dark bite and send it back towards their partners on the red side. Robo Griffins with a note in hand for the Blue Alliance, lining up at the Blue Amp. It's in, it's good. Both teams have engaged that cooperation bonus. Questionable engineering scoring at the Amp for the Red Alliance. Teams making their way back to the source zone. Cybersonic shooting on the run, as are their opponents, the Warhawks. 25-54 for the Red. 87-14, Robo Griffins having an issue under the red stage. That's a precarious position to be in. Meanwhile, the Warhawks 25-54, once again, some percussive maintenance. Their robot Rio may be rebooting with under a minute to go. RFTA is taking a look at it. Meanwhile, questionable engineering, they get a note stuck in the field. They're able to get it freed, still no notes scored from this current volley. But that's not stopping them. They're lining up, seeing if they can get their precision aligned. They're able to score for the Red Alliance as their partners, the Warhawks, they're back in it. 30 seconds in this match. Cybersonics 103 scoring a note for the Blue Alliance. Warhawks passing a note back. Aiming for our head referee. Not quite going to score. Fifteen seconds remaining in this match. 54-90, the Dark Bite lining up for the blue stage. Their partner, Cybersonics, seeing if they can get one more note cycle. With four seconds remaining, three, two, one. Iron Devils parked for the Red Alliance under the red stage. Dark Bite parked for the blue.
relegation match, 66 by three points with a score of 53 to 50. Introducing our number eight ranked team, same 62-26. Blue Devils. And team 27-22. Charge Robotics. <laughs> and team 65-87. 75-87, in fact. It's the Metuchen Momentum. Moving on over to the Blue Lions. Still setting up the Robotics team. 316. Lunatics. And team 9027. Path to domination. And I think we have a ranked team on the field here on the Blue Lions. Team 3314. Holding on to that number three spot, it's the Mechanical Mustangs. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Lunatics and Mechanical Mustangs for the Blue Lions scoring notes. Lunatics lining up again. They are able to chase down more notes as are their partners, Mechanical Mustangs. Over for the Red Alliance. That's 27, 22 charge. 75, 87, with touch and men, momentum. Helping out, scoring some notes. Metuchen lining up at the amp. They're able to score for the Red Alliance amp. 316 Lunatex doing the same for Blue. Both have engaged that cooperation bonus. At the Blue Source Zone, that's 90-27, path to domination. They've got a note in hand, race across the field, followed quickly by their partners, Mechanical Mustangs. Metuchen momentum, no match for them. 27-22 charge, they're able to score for the Red Alliance in the speaker. Meanwhile, 62-26 Blue Devils able to squeak past Path to Domination, but their robot is moving again. 
pausing for dramatic effect, I see. Blue, De Blue Devils able to score in the red amplifier. Seeing if they can complete another cycle. Meanwhile, Matush and Momentum driving like they're on the Garden State Parkway, lining up for that red amplifier. It's in, it's scored. Lunatics at the blue source zone. They're able to get a note in hand, trying to get past charge now. They're able to get under the stage to do so. You'll see all of these robots in this match are designed low to be able to maneuver under that stage. Advantage to the blue line still in this match. We see why as we've got three efficient shooters. Pat to Domination lining up at the blue subwoofer. It's in, it's good as they've now finished an amplification series. 20 notes scored so far for the Blue Alliance. That'll get them at least one ranking point for the melody. Charge is able to score for the Red Alliance in that amplifier, in that amplified speaker. As drivers take the last 12 seconds lining up for their stage. 27-22, Charge. They've got a spotlight. They've got two spotlights. Excellent work by the human player from a touch of momentum. As time expires, Charge is able to get up off the ground for the red, but high in the sky for blue is, Me is Mechanical Mustangs. match 67 with a score of 80 to 43. Three ranking points for the Blue Alliance. Two for the win, one for the melody. That helps Mechanical Mustangs hang on to that number three rank. Remember the top eight teams have the ability to be Alliance captains in just three matches. We'll see where that plays out in our Alliance selection. It is match number 68 of 70. Before we start this one, remember, seniors, senior pictures here on the field when we finish qualification match 70. That's three matches from now. Senior pictures right here on the field when we finish qualification match 70. 
Let's introduce our teams. Team 7414 on the Red Alliance. Retro Robotics. Team 2720. Red Watch. And Team 2016. The Mighty Monkey Wrenches. On the Blue Alliance, let's welcome Team 4373. Robotics. And who's ranked number four? 54 away! The Fighting Robotic the home Owls. Team. And they are joined by Team 1712. Dogma. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Just three more qualification matches to play. Every note counts in this orchestra, in this concerto that is crescendo. Retro Robotics with an efficient autonomous mode, getting at least four notes scored there. Five notes total on either side. Slight advantage to the Red Alliance by two points as drivers take control. 5401 Fighting Robotic Al scoring a note in the blue for the Blue Alliance in the blue speaker. Dogma has taken a hard hit. They're restarting. That means that Ro Blue Alliance is down a partner. That's no problem for 5401 Fighting Robotic Owls and 4373 Robotics as they both are at the blue source to pick up notes. 7414 Retro capitalizing on that extra time where there is no defense at a clear center field. Retro Robotics, Red Watch, and Mighty Monkey Wrenches cycling back and forth. A great duet from the 5401 Fighting Robotic Owls and Robotics for the Blue Alliance getting two notes scored in the blue speaker. Both teams have engaged the cooperation bonus. That means they only need 15 notes, which we might have finished before we hit one minute left in this match. Red Watch at the red subwoofer. They're lining up their motor spinning, seeing if they can get that note scored. They're able to do so with their partner, 7414, with an amplified speaker. Mighty Monkey Wrench is scoring as well. They've got at least one ranking point over on the Red Alliance. 16 notes scored total with 50 seconds remaining. Fighting Robotic Al score a note. Robotics following right behind for the Blue Alliance with 40 seconds remaining. That red note just off the mark going into the speaker. Red watch bounces in and out. 30 seconds left in this match. Robotics getting the 15th note. That'll get one ranking point for the Blue Alliance at least as they line up at the stage. That guitar riff means we've got 20 seconds to go. Notes flying high from the human players seeing if they can spotlight their robots. Robotics and fighting robotic owls for the Blue Alliance, seeing if they can get some harmony on stage. With five seconds remaining, Mighty Monkey Wrenches is up. Can Red Watch climb? They do. We've got four robots in the air. As time expires for the Blue Alliance, fighting robotic owls, and robotics in perfect harmony. Qualification match 68 with a score of 72 to 54. Three ranking points for the Red Alliance. That helps moves the teams up. 
Mighty Monkey wrenches into 18th. Retro Robotics holding on to that 10th spot. Tommy, next to the last match of today. Introducing for the Red and Whites team, 4750. That's Bert. And 427. Lance a lot. And 484. Robo Force. Let's introduce for the Blue Lions team, 69-21! They're currently ranked seventh. It's the Technados. And 16-40! Sabotage. Rounding out that Blue Lions team, 9100! Robo Roses! Before we start this match, quick reminder, safety awards due by noontime. Safety awards are due by noon. That is 12 minutes from now. Please submit your safety award.
Teams, as a reminder, we're getting close to that time for Alliance Selections. We'll have two more matches. We'll have the senior photo and Alliance Selections. We will need one representative from every team to check in with our lead cure before we begin Alliance Selections. Make sure you know who on your team you are sending down for Alliance Selections. They will check in with our lead cure at the end of senior photos. It's getting close to that time, friends.
drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Our penultimate qualification match at Ben Salem qualifier here in 2024. Notes being scored fast and furious. For the Blue Lines, Technado 69-21 soaring to life just off the mark of that last shot. As their partner 1640 Sabotage line up. Blue Lines has the advantage as drivers take control. 427 for the Red Alliance. They don't lance a little, they lance a lot. And they lance a lot getting that note lining it up for the red amplifier. Over on blue side of the field, 6927. That's the Technados, our current number seventh ranked team, lining up at the blue amplifier, seeing if they can get that note placed. Meanwhile, their partners, Robo Roses, just off the mark, but Sabotage getting a note into the blue speaker. Robo Force with a note in hand, trying to get past the field, sending it back to their red side and going to get another note from the red source. Their partners, Lancelot, they've got a note in hand. Bert helping protect the red wing from the Robo Roses. Robo Roses now at the blue source zone. That's team 9100. They've got a note in hand. And there's Bert playing as the distraction. With just over one minute remaining in this match, Team 1640 Sabotage barreling their way towards the blue subwoofer. They're gonna move over to the amp to get a note placed there. Right at my feet, that's the Robo Roses getting past Burt once again. Robo Roses trying to line up to their source to get more notes. Lancelot for the Red Alliance, they've got another note placed in the amplifier, trying to pick up that loose one underneath the red stage. Here comes Sabotage screaming past. They're gonna try and pick up the note that's on the floor as RoboForce lines up to score the note for red. 30 seconds remaining, we've got two points separating these two alliances. 1640 Sabotage, just off the mark, that's the advantage that RoboForce needs to score for red. With that guitar, if we're at 20 seconds, notes flying high. 1640 Sabotage at the blue stage, they're able to raise up with seven seconds remaining. No, Robo Roses join them. The Technados with one second remaining. They're not able to get off the ground, but for the Red Alliance, Robo Force 484 swinging on the red stage. Scores going up for qualification now 69. The Blue Alliance wins it by a score of 61 to 48. Three ranking points in that match. Two for the win, one for the ensemble. That allows the Technados to hang on to their seventh rank. As a reminder, Robot fans, we've got one more qualification match. At the end of that qualification match, we will want all of the senior students on field for our senior photo. We will also need one representative from every team to check in with our lead cure before we can begin a line selection. Once again, we will need one representative to check in with our lead cure before we can begin a line selection immediately after match 70 and the senior photo. All right, kick it, Scott.
the final match of our qualification matches today. And that reminder one more time, senior picture is right here in the field as soon as we finish this match. Seniors, get ready to come down. Seniors, ready to come down when we finish this match. Number 70, let's introduce for the Red Alliance team, 486! Positronic Panthers! And, and Team 87! Diablo! Rounding out this Red Alliance team, 56, 66. Purple Lightning. And now, our number four ranked Alliance, team 2559. Normality Zero. Partnered with two, oh, three. Superbots. And not that this alliance wasn't powerful enough, but here rounding out the Blue Alliance's team, number two ranked team, 272. The Cyber Crusaders. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Our final qualification match here at Ben Salem in 2024. Six strong robots on the field. The Red Alliance biding their time. Diablo uh, making some final adjustments. That's leaving 272 for the Blue Alliance Cyber Crusaders. Cyber Crusaders able to get another note in their possession, placing it into the blue amplifier. They're looking to their opposite alliance. They want to engage for that cooperation bonus. Teams have to do it within the first 45 seconds of the match, though. So time is a ticking. Meanwhile, Team 87 Diablo once again on the defensive, restricting Superbots. That Superbot's able to slide past them. They're going to make that shot. Mm -mm, good. That'll get a point in the blue speaker. A note in the blue speaker for points. Over on the Red Alliance, Team 5666, Purple Lightning with a flash. They're able to score one and a second note with a minute 30 to go. Team 203, the Superbots, trying to get past Diablo. They're able to do so. They're spinning. That's one of the advantages of these swerve modules. You can do a pick and roll like that. Meanwhile, 2559, Normality 0. They're going on the defensive to restrict the Positronic Panthers for the red. 486 Positronic Panthers trying to pick up a note. Now they're trying to get past 2559, normality zero. Here comes the Cyber Crusaders, rushing past the Diablo to that blue source zone, picking up a note like it's nothing. Cyber Crusaders going towards their blue amp. It's in, it's good as Purple Lightning responds with a note scored in the red speaker. Just over 30 seconds remaining. All three red robots clustered on the red side of the field. Purple Lightning once again working to cycle and get those notes scored in the speaker. 486 Positronic Panthers waiting to get that ever important climb to be on stage. 15 seconds remaining in qualification matches. Teams racing towards the stage. Normality Zero is on the stage for the Blue Alliance. Can their partners join them? With five seconds remaining, the Cyber Crusaders are up. Team 203, the Superbots, able to climb as time hits zero. Over on the Red Alliance, Positronic Panthers and Diablo are on stage. Purple Lightning is parked. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment.
takes the win with a score of 70 to 27. With the win and three ranking points, the Blue Alliance holds on to their current spots. Normality Zero holds on to fourth. 272 will be our number two ranked team as we go into Alliance selection. As a reminder, Robot fans, if you are a senior student, we want you to come down onto the field now so we can take our senior picture. We will then also need one representative from every team to check in with our lead cure for Alliance selections. Teams start moving now.
Teams, a reminder, we need one representative from every team to check in with our lead cure for Alliance Selections. Once again, we will need one representative from every team to check in with our lead cure for Alliance Selections. Friends, if you are, we need a representative from the following teams. 87, 94, 16, 486, 62, 26, 25, 54, 54, 90, 2016, 47, 50, 484, 69, 21, 25, 59, 33, 14, and 87, 14. If I just called your number, that means either we do not have your alliance representative or they have not checked in with our lead cure. We need one representative from every alliance before we can begin alliance selection. Okay, while we're waiting and before we hit alliance selection, and as promised, we're going to present the volunteer, uh, the volunteer award, the vo outstanding volunteer award. And here to present that award is Catherine and Jimmy. No, it's not doing anything. Oh, um, hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna be presenting the Outstanding Volunteer Award with our first year, Jimmy Kane, the Volunteer Coordinator. The Outstanding Volunteer Award celebrates the dedication and service of volunteers within the first Mid-Atlantic District. The phenomenal success of the first robotics competition within the region is a reflection of the commitment and enthusiasm displayed by our volunteers. We are truly humbled by the passion and dedication of our volunteers. At each district event, we will recognize one individual as the outstanding volunteer. Here's what the local event committee had to say about this year's winner. This person's foresight is unmatched. He plans for every possible outcome because he starts planning 364 days in advance. He works tirelessly to avoid failure because he understands the value that this event brings for all of, our all of you, our participants, first Mid-Atlantic and first at large. His leadership capacity has been proven, serving in critical roles throughout Ben Salem Township. His outlook on administration is simple. Everything will be fine if everyone is fed and the bathrooms are functioning. He maintains a first one in, last one out mentality. Congratulations to our outstanding volunteer, event coordinator, Team 5401 head mentor, our Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kevin McKay. And now here to present the Donald Bowers Inspiration Award. Please welcome again our event manager, Cooper Smith. Since 1995, Donald Bowers has served first in our region, facilitating the development of regionals and as regional director. Donald has an unmistakable presence at first events, one that welcomes each and every student, encouraging them to pursue their passions with humility and compassion. The Donald Bowers Inspiration Award recognizes individuals who instill the values of first within their team and community. Here's what the local event committee had to say about this year's winner, and a special thanks to Fred Joseph from Pods for helping us pick this one.
This mentor is a genius, comedian, and friend to their students. They live to inspire and continuously spurs their students to explore their own technological endeavors. This mentor helped focus their students to complete the robot a month earlier than ever before and bring most manufacturing in-house. This mentor's help goes beyond robotics when they sit down with their students to tell stories, jokes, and be a personal tutor. This mentor continues to fly high, and if you look through a telescope, you may just see him. Congratulations to James Chi from 5401. All right, teams, it is time now for Alliance Selection. All of these teams, all of you, all of you have worked up to this point. You've had strategies on the field of play here. Now I know, I know that you worked up strategies as well as you did your scouting in the pits. Have you worked up to this moment? And we have, we have the top eight ranked teams that are going to pick their partners. And we know the strategies that are involved in that as well. And just to see how that works, video form, please take a look at our big screens. Eight teams move into the team captain positions of the playoff alliances. The number one team can select any team at the event to join their alliance. If the selected team declines the invitation, then another team is chosen until one accepts. Suppose Alliance 2 selects Alliance 4, but Alliance 4 declines and Alliance 2 selects another team which accepts. It's now Alliance 3's turn, but the same rule applies. Alliance 4 is not available, so Alliance 3 has to select another team from the available pool. And the next Alliance can select any available team that hasn't declined an invitation. This process continues through Alliance 8. Notice that a previously unavailable team has become an Alliance captain. At this point, any remaining team that has declined an invitation is not eligible to participate in the playoffs because they can't be selected. Alliance 8 now picks their third team member from the remaining available teams. Alliance 7 picks their third team member, and so on, all the way back to the number one alliance. All alliances are now full, so alliance selection is complete. But, the next several teams need to be prepared to serve as backup teams if one of the selected teams can no longer compete. Listen for an announcement for how many teams will be asked to serve as backups and be sure to let the head referee know if your team accepts that responsibility. Let's start our alliance selection. So as the video said, we're going to bring down our top eight ranked teams. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, and then eight. And that'll be our captains. Of course, as the video said also, captains can choose among themselves. If a team is asked to join an alliance, and they, and they decline if they're a captain, it just means that they choose to lead their own alliance. So it's a great thing, it's a great strategy one way or the other, to either join and join a captain or maintain your, your, your ability to form your own alliance. Really cool stuff. So we're about ready to get going. Oh, and if, it, if a captain chooses a team that's outside of any of the teams that are in the top ranked teams, and they say no, they, decline, they, will not, they cannot be selected by any other team. Those are the simple rules. I think we all know that. So let's get started with this one. Oh, and the backup team. We're going to have eight backup teams and they will be by ranking so the next highest ranked teams down in order top to bottom eight teams so it'll be backup teams so here we go let's bring down a alliance captain number eight please welcome team 62 26 the blue devils from burlington city high school in burlington new jersey
And our number seven ranked team is Team 6921. Tech Natos from Camden County Technical Schools in Pensacola, New Jersey. Our number six ranked team is 5401. The Fighting Robotic Owls from Ben Salem High School, right here in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Our number five ranked team, 103. Cyber Sonics from Palisades High School in Kittnersville, Pennsylvania. Our number four ranked team is 2559. Normality Zero from Dauphin County Technical School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Our number three ranked team is 3314. Mechanical Mustangs from Clifton High School in Clifton, New Jersey. Our number two ranked team is 272. The Cyber Crusaders from Lansdale Catholic High School in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And our number one ranked alliance, big round of applause and congratulations team 5895. Petty Robotics from the Petty School in Heightstown, New Jersey. Are you ready for this? Are you? Congratulations once again. Who would you like to select to be your first partner? Team 5895 would like to choose Team 103 to join our alliance. 103! Team 103, the Cybersonics. On behalf of our sponsors, Team 103 graciously accepts. There you go, there's number one. Hey, we have a spot to fill. So let's shift on down our teams. Number six goes to number five. Number seven comes down to number six. Number eight comes down to number seven. We need to fill this eighth spot, and that'll be the number nine rag team. Team 27, 22. Team 27, 22, Charge Robotics from Cherokee High School in Marlton, New Jersey. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to move back over to the captain of the number two alliance. Have you selected who would like you to join you in this endeavor? Team 272 would like to invite Team 316 to join our alliance. 316! Team 316, the Lunatechs from Carney's Point, New Jersey. Do you accept? Team 316 gratefully accepts. Wonderful. All right, we got two for number one and number two. How about number three? Do you know who would you like to select to be your partner? Team 3314 would like to invite Team 7414 to join our alliance. 7414. Team 7414 Retro Robotics from Perky Omen Valley High School in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Team 7414 would love to be your player too. Excellent, there we go. Let's move on down to number four. Who would you like to sele select to be your first partner? Team 2559 would like to invite Team 50 or 5401 to join my alliance. 5401, Team 5401. Fi Team 5401 is the Fighting Robotic Owls. Team 5401 respectfully declines. Ooh, they wanna form their own alliance. That's their strategy. 
Team 2559 would like to invite Team 6921. 6921. Tech NATO's. Team 6921 graciously accepts. And they accept. Wonderful. We've got, we've got two thirds of our four, top four alliances. We need to move on down. Now, please, number seven comes down to number six. You are now the captain of alliance number seven. Moving over here to uh, number eight, let's please invite the 10th rack team, or were they chosen, Tommy? Team 7414? Team 7414 has already been chosen. Then we're going to move to 11, 1640. Sabotage from Downingtown Area Robotics in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. We're going to move down to our number five alliance. You chose to, to captain your own alliance. Who would you like to choose to be your partner? Team, <laughs> team, fifth, team number 5401 would like to invite team 1640 to join our alliance. 1640! Team 1640, sabotage. Team 1640 graciously accepts. There you go! Whoa! We have to fill number eight again, and that is with Team 316. Three already si selected. As is in the Pennsylvania First Tech Challenge tradition team, they're already advancing into the playoffs. 2720 then. Team 2720. That's Red Watch Robotics from Lenape High School in Medford, New Jersey. Thank you, Tommy. Congratulations. All right, let's move to our number six alliance. Have you chosen who you would like to select to be your first partner? Team 6226 would like to invite Team 2722. 2722. Team 2722, charge Robotics. Team 2722 ref respectfully declined. Okay, they want to form their own alliance. Wow, this is getting incredibly interesting. Uh, 91.5. Hmm? Uh, on Team 6226 would like to invite Team 91.5. 91.5? 915? 9015. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 15. Team 9015. Team 9015. Questionable engineering from Jersey City, New Jersey. Team 9015. Questionable engineering graciously accepts. There you go. All right. You selected to captain your own alliance. So you must have somebody you'd like to select to be your first partner. Team 2722 would be electrified if team 321 were to join our alliance. 321! 321, the Robo Lancers from Central High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What says 321? Team 321 graciously accepts. There you go. And now to our eighth alliance, they will select their first partner, and then we will come back and they select their second partner right away. So hopefully they're ready to go. We're going to find out, though, first who their first partner will be. Are you ready? Okay. So he's checking in, checking in up there. He's on the phone. Hey, we're ready to go. Here you go. Team 2720 would like to invite Team 2016 to their lives. 2016! The Mighty Monkey Wrenches from Ewing High School in Ewing, New Jersey. Team 2016 graciously accepts. There we go. 
Congratulations. They are two-thirds of an alliance now in number eight. Now we come right back again. And they're going to confer a little bit between the two of them and see who they'd like to join their alliance. So let's give them a couple of minutes to confer. And they have decided. Let's see who they decided to join their alliance. Team 2720. Team 2016. Would like to invite Team 2180 to our alliance. 2180! Team 2180 Zero Gravity is from Steiner High School East in Hamilton, New Jersey. Team 2180 graciously accepts. There we go. We have one alliance fully formed. Let's move on to the captain and the first partner on our number seven alliance and see if they've decided who they'd like to join. I think we have a decision. Team 2722 and Team 321 would like to invite Team 4373. 4373, 4373. Team 4373, Rubotics from Abington Friends School in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania. Team 4373 graciously accepts. There we go. That's two down. Have you decided who you'd like to join your alliance? They're ready to go. Team 9015. Team 6226. Invite Team 427 to join our alliance. 4272? Team 427. 427. 427. Yes, Team 427. Lancelot from Central High School in Philadelphia, PA. Team 427 graciously accepts. There we go. 876, let's move on down to our number five alliance and see if they decided who they'd like to select to join them. We would like to request for more time. Request, request more time, they need, a, they need just a little bit more time. Tom, this is where we really see the scouting come into play. Teams throughout this weekend have been reviewing data, watching matches, so that way they can make the strongest alliance possible to play out this afternoon's playoffs. Okay, they've made their selection. Team 5401 and 1640 uh, would like to invite, would like to invite team 4575. 4575, 4575 it is. Team 4575, Gemini from the Eastern Pennsylvania Robotics Alliance in Springfield, PA. Team 4575 graciously accepts. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. We've got four alliances now formed. Let's move across now. Four, three, two, one. Let's see if the fourth alliance has selected their, their oh, look, he's shaking his head. He's ready to go. Team 2559 and? Team 6921. Would like to invite team 9027. 9027. Team 9027, Path to Domination from the Pathway School in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Team 9027 graciously accepts. There you go. Three to go, everybody. Three to go. Okay, we need another 30 seconds or so here with the number three alliance. Team 3314. And Team 7414. Would like to ask Team 5490 to join our alliance. 5490! Team 5490, the Dark Bite from Moravian Academy Upper School in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Team 5490 graciously accepts. All right. Outstanding. Whoop, took over your hat. All right, now we'd move down to our number two alliance. Not yet. All right, another, another 30 seconds or so for the number two alliance to select their next partner. We have a selection. Here we go. Team 272 and Team 316 would like to invite Team 203 to join our 203! Team 203 Superbots from Camden County Technical School in Sicklerville, New Jersey. Team 203 would be super excited to join your alliance. All right. All right, there we go. Before we go on and find out who the number one alliance would like to select, a couple orders of business. So we do have eight teams. Eight teams, the next eight ranked teams, will be backup teams. So please come down and report to who behind the table. All right, report down over the table on my left, your right, and your facing here, or opposite on that side. Come down here. The top, the next top eight, right, eight ranked teams, and you will be the backup teams, and let them know whether you're eligible to do that or ready to do that, and we'll get that established. Also, when we're finished here, captains and alliances, please meet in the uh, Carol in the middle of the field. In the middle of the field, meet Carol Parado, our head referee, in the middle of the field for final instructions before we go into the double elimination, elimination playoffs this afternoon, right after lunch. So, have you made a selection? Yes, they have. Um, team 
5895 and Team 103 would like to um, select Team 484 to join our line. 484! Team 484 RoboForce from Haverford High School in Havertown, Pennsylvania. On behalf of all its sponsors, Team 484 graciously accepts. And that is it. We have our alliances. Again, stay out on the field to meet with your alliance captains. When are we coming back from lunch? Two o'clock. Coming back from lunch at two o'clock, we'll start our elimination, we'll start our double elimination at 2 p.m. Let's have a big round of applause and congratulations for all the teams that were here in Ben Salem this weekend. Amazing job by you all. Come back 2 o'clock for these double elimination tournaments. It's going to be really incredible as we go forward with Crescendo. Team 5401, please send your representative for the Alliance captain back to the field.
Test, test would do. Channel three, test three, channel three. One, two. Flap, you want me to steal third?
Everybody, it's time for the double elimination portion of our tournament. Are you ready for this? Are we ready to crescendo this afternoon? Well, let's see an explanation. Let's go through our explanation of how a double elimination works. So on our profile here, we have in a double elimination format, once an alliance loses two matches, they are eliminated. Two losses, and it's time to cheer on others. There are two brackets, an upper bracket and a lower bracket, and all, and all eight alliances start round one in the upper bracket. Alliances that win matches progress through rounds in the upper bracket. If, but if we're losing a match, they go from the upper bracket, it moves you into the lower bracket. Alliances that win matches in the lower bracket progress through the rounds in the lower bracket, but a loss in the lower bracket results in elimination from the tournament. So the winners of the upper and lower bracket then will meet and play each other in a best of three in the final round to determine who this tournament winner is here in Ben Salem. So you all know how it works. You've been to every one of these events so far. So we're just going to go move right on with this tournament. Tommy, are we ready to announce our teams? And in the Red Alliance, it will be the number one alliance. The Blue Alliance will be the number eight alliance to start out in the upper bracket. So let's introduce our teams, Tommy. In our number one alliance, team 484. From Haverford High School in Havertown, Pennsylvania, the second selected team, Robo Force. And team 103. The first team selected from Palisades High School in Kittnersville, Pennsylvania, Cybersonics. And team 5895. The Alliance captain from the Petty School in Heightstown, New Jersey, Petty Robotics. The Blue Alliance, once again, is our number eight alliance. Team 2016. The first team selected from Ewing High School in Ewing, New Jersey, the Mighty Monkey Wrenches. Team 2720. The Alliance captains from Lenape High School in Medford, New Jersey, Red Watch Robotics. And Team 2180. The second team selected out of Steinert High School East in Hamilton, New Jersey, Zero Gravity. We're ready to start match one of our double elimination tournament. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. 
Quick out of the gate for the blue lines. That's 2180. Zero gravity getting first note scored. Meanwhile, on the red alliance, Cyber Sonics just off the mark there with their friends at Petty, the alliance captains, able to get an additional note. Red takes a five note to one advantage as drivers take control. There is no more cooperation. There are no more ranking points. It's win and move on. Over at the Red Alliance, that's Petty Robotics, 5895, placing a note into their amp. Meanwhile, Robo Force 484, preventing zero gravity from getting towards that blue charge, that blue source zone. We're gonna see teams playing even more aggressive in their driving as these teams wanna take home a blue banner. With over a minute 30 to go, 2016 Mighty Monkey Wrenches for the Blue Lions scoring a note into the blue amp. Their partners, Red Watch 2720, they've got a note in their possession, placing it on that side of the field, protecting it. Back by the red side of the field, Robo Force, the force to be reckoned with, in between Red Watch and making it difficult for zero gravity to get out. Robo Force becoming a gravity well of themselves. Zero gravity going towards their blue source zone. They pick up a note, have it in hand. Meanwhile, Petty working quite efficiently, placing notes inside that amp area. Traffic jam by the blue source zone. Robo Force, they're taking possession of the wing. Red Watch and Mighty Monkey Wrenches for blue, trying to get additional notes. Red Watch unable to get through the wing. They have to go under the stage, and there's Petty to get back towards Petty's own red amplifier. Over 30 seconds remaining for the Blue Alliance. Zero gravity placing their note. Red Watch getting it into the speaker. That blue speaker is amplified. That's going to help Red Watch with that score. 20 seconds remaining, we're at the end game. Mighty Monkey Wrench is lining up at the blue stage. 103 Cyber Sonics in a risky position. We've got two spotlight notes for the Blue Alliance. One for the Mighty Monkey Wrenches, one for Zero Gravity. Zero Gravity climbing as time expires. One spotlight for the Red Alliance as Cyber Sonics are up. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. With the scores for match one in round one. The Red Alliance with a score of 91 to 67. Robot fans, you can see the QR code there to scan for a detailed match one results. The Red Alliance is gonna move on to match number seven in the winning bracket. Alliance eight, we'll see them playing in the losing bracket in match five. So remember everybody in this double elimination, we're gonna go 10 straight matches till we get through round three. 
And when we get through round three after 10 matches, we're gonna take a little video break. And then once we get through round four, we're gonna go through some of our awards. And then after round five, we're gonna go through some awards as well. So we are going to be peppering in our awards as we go through these eliminations. But right now, 10 straight matches through round three, and then we'll take a six minute break for videos. Right now, it's match number two in our upper bracket. And in this, we have four in the Red Alliance. Number five is in the Blue Alliance. So let's introduce our teams. Number four Alliance, Tommy, please. Team 2559. The Alliance captain from Dauphin County Technical School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Normality Zero. And Team 9027. From the Pathway School in Norristown, Pennsylvania, they were the second round selected. Path to Domination. And rounding out this alliance team, 69-21. The first team selected from Camden County Technical Schools in Pensacola, New Jersey, Technados. On number five alliance, team, please welcome team 1640. From Downingtown Area Robotics in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, the first team selected, Sabotage. And Team 5401. The Alliance captains from Ben Salem High School in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, the Fighting Robotic Owls. And 4575. The second team selected from the Eastern Pennsylvania Robotics Alliance in Springfield, PA, Gemini. Start this match. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Match two in the upper bracket underway. 5401 Fighting Robotic Owls over on the Blue Alliance. They've got two notes already scored. A third by their partner, 1640. Number four from Fighting Robotic Owls. Note for note being matched. The Red Alliance taking the advantage. That's Technados. 6921, the captains and their partners, Normality Zero. Excuse me, Normality Zero, the captains, Technado's first pick. Just in that space of time, Fighting Robotic Owls helping score note number eight for the Blue Alliance with two minutes of driver control. Gemini shooting on the run, sending that note towards their partners. 1640 Sabotage placing a note for the Blue Alliance in the amp. Fighting Robotic Owls trying to pick it up. 9027 Path to Domination able to place a note in the red speaker as do their partners, Normality Zero. Technados good in the red amp. Meanwhile, Gemini just off the mark sending that note out of play. Shooting on the run once again, that's Gemini cycling those notes fast and furious towards their partners. In tandem on the red alliance, that's the Technados and Path to Domination. Getting to the red source zone. Technados have a note in hand. They make their way under the red stage. Lining up for that amplifier. Placing that arm up. It's in, it's good for the Red Alliance. With one minute to go, real-time score shows a close match. Blue having the advantage. That's thanks to the work of the captain, the ro fighting robotic owls, who score another note with that blue amplified speaker. Their partner, 1640 Sabotage. They were stuck on a note trying to get that free. Not able to capitalize on the amplified speaker. That's enough for the Technados to score in the red amplified speaker. With a second shot from Pat to Domination, tying it up at 59 with under 30 seconds remaining. Fighting Robotic Owls under the blue speaker once again. They've got a note in hand. It's up, it's good with 20 seconds to go. We are rocking in this match. 90-27 for the Red Alliance. Path to Domination trying to get up on stage. Their partners, Technados, do. We have one spotlight. Spotlight on Path to Domination with six seconds remaining. Action to the blue stage. Is it enough for 1640 to get up? As time expires, 1640 is up. It's going to be close for the fighting robotic owls to see if they're in harmony. 
We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. score of 71 to 67. Four point difference in that match coming down to the stage. That'll help Alliance 4 move on. They advance in the upper bracket. We'll see them next in match seven. Our number five Alliance will see them next in round two in the lower bracket in match five. Robot fans, this quick announcement, attention teams, any team that would like to take practice field elements, please find Brian Sherman or Debbie Musselman, representatives from our first Mid-Atlantic Equipment Committee. Once again, teams, if you would like practice field elements, please find Brian Sherman or Debbie Musselman, members of our first Mid-Atlantic Equipment Committee, to take those home with you. We are ready to announce match number three of the playoffs. And on the red alliance, we have alliance number two. And the blue alliance is alliance number seven. Let's get started by introducing first, 203. From Camden County Technical School in Sicklerville, New Jersey, the second team selected, Superbots. And team 316. From Carney's Point, New Jersey, in the round one selection, Lunatics. And Alliance Captain 272. From Lansdale Catholic High School in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, the Cyber Crusaders. On the Blue Alliance, let's introduce the captain of the number seven Alliance team, 2722. The Alliance Captains from Cherokee High School in Marlton, New Jersey, Charge Robotics. And team 4773. From the Abington Friends School in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania, Rubotics. And team three, two, one. Out of Central High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Robo Lancers.
Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Match three underway. Three quick notes scored. That creates a lovely chord from the Blue Lions. Rubotics following it up with a fourth. Charge off the mark. Over on the red side of the field, that's Lunatex lining up the subwoofer. That gives them their fifth note scored. That'll give the advantage to Red Alliance as drivers take control. Superbots ripping across the field, going to the red source zone. Over at the center stage, that is Team 316 Lunatex picking up the last of the notes. Here come the Robotics and the Robo Lancers for blue. Picking up one note from their source zone. Robo Lancers in there picking up a second. These teams are cycling fast and furious. By the blue subwoofer, that's 272 Cyber Crusaders trying to steal a note from the grasp of the Robo Lancers. Robo Lancers pick up from the red charge zone. Meanwhile, Rubotics charge and Robo Lancers able to get additional notes scored for the Blue Alliance. We've got a red amplified speaker, but the robots are all on the opposite side of the field. Oh my, what a traffic jam. Team 203 Superbots scoring uh, in the red speaker, taking a bounce from the Rubotics there. They're still ticking. Real-time score shows the advantage to Red with a minute 10 to go. Cyber Crusaders score in the Red Amp. They've got a note right next to them to pick up. Grasp hold of it. They're going to place it in that amp. They do. Their partner Superbots lined up. Meanwhile, traffic at the center field as it clears out. Lunatex swerving their way towards the Red Subwoofer in, and it's good right as the Red Alliance amplifies that speaker. Can the Cyber Crusaders help capitalize on it? They park in just under the mark. With 40 seconds remaining, Rubotics, that's charge. 2722 charge scoring a note for the Blue Alliance. Rubotics follow right behind. Robo Lancers waiting, that's 321. They're going to make it difficult for the Cyber Crusaders to get past. One step, two step, do -si do Where the robots end up, nobody knows. That guitar riff means we're at 20 seconds. We're in the end game of this match. Red Alliance making their way towards the stage. All three robots clipped onto the chain, hoisting high. Cyber Crusaders getting the trap note as well. With four seconds remaining, Charge climbing up for the Blue Alliance. Can the Rubotics join them? Rubotics, not, they're parked, but they're not climbing. We're gonna be back with the scores in a very close match in just a moment. Scores are in, the win of match number three. Goes to the Red Alliance with a score of 80 to 63. The number two alliance moves on in the upper bracket. We'll see them next in match eight. Meanwhile, our number seven alliance drops down to the lower bracket. We'll see them soon in match number six.
We're ready to start match number four. In match number four, the red alliance is the number three alliance. The blue alliance, number six. Now let's introduce our teams. Let's start with team 74-14. From Perky Omen Valley High School, out in Collegeville, Pennsylvania, that's Retro Robotics. Team 54-90. From Moravian Academy in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the Dark Bites. And the captain of this alliance, team 33-14. From Clifton High School in Clifton, New Jersey, the Mechanical Mustangs. Moving on over to the blue lines. So let's introduce team 427. From Central High School in Philadelphia, PA, Lance a lot. And captain of the number six alliance, team 6226. From Burlington City High School in Burlington, New Jersey, the Blue Devils. And joining them, 9015. Out of Jersey City, New Jersey, it's questionable engineering. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match four underway. Retro Robotics getting the first note off. They're able to score the third note for the Red Alliance. Mechanical Mustangs chasing off another one. Meanwhile, over on the Blue Alliance, 427. That's Lance a lot lining up at the subwoofer. One point difference between these two alliances as drivers take control. Questionable engineering clearing the center line of notes, sending it back to their partners. They're moving over to the blue source zone with their partners, the Blue Devils. 6226 with those wide googly eyes. Blue Devils going under the blue stage, lining up at the amplifier. They dump it on the floor as their partners Lance a lot scoring in the blue speaker. For the Red Alliance, Retro Robotics gets a score in an amplified speaker. That'll get five points. Can the mechanical Mustangs get there? just off the mark, but they're gonna chase that note down and be able to pick it up again. Meanwhile, Dark Bite lining up as well. Send it, it's good, scored for the Red Alliance. Retro Robotics able to complete another cycle, scoring in as well. Advantage goes to the Red Alliance at the moment. Blue Alliance amplifies their speaker and Lancelot capitalizes. They've got one note scored. Can they get a second? They make it loud and they do. 90-15, questionable engineering. Just off the mark as that amplifier goes out. But Mechanical Mustangs capitalize on a red amplified speaker with one minute to go in this match. Retro Robotics waiting for their moment. Questionable engineering for the Blue Alliance. Once again, cycling notes back and forth, passing them off to their, pers their partners. Mechanical Mustangs with the relay there, trying to pick up that note. 40 seconds remaining. Lancelot scoring yet again in the blue speaker, lining up to do it again. With 30 seconds remaining, teams clearing out of the blue side of the field. Lancelot for the Blue Alliance, picking up from the source zone. The Dark Bite scoring in the red amplified speaker as they hit that mark. Mechanical Mustangs following through. They're up, they're good for an additional scored note. With 13 seconds remaining, these teams are racing back towards their stages. Questionable Engineering going to make another cycle. 
with five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Mechanical Mustangs and Dark Bite on stage for the Red Alliance. Three Blue Alliance robots parked. It's gonna be a close match again, folks. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. match by a score of 89 to 79. Alliance three moves on in the upper bracket. We'll see them next in round zoo match eight. Our blue Alliance, Alliance number six moves on to the lower bracket. We'll see them in match six. All right, this is match number five. Match number five, we're now in the lower bracket. For the Red Alliance, we have Alliance number eight in the Blue Alliance, Alliance number five. Let's get started with match number five. First in the lower bracket, Tommy, team 2180. Zero gravity. Alliance captain 2720. Red watch. And Team 2016. Mighty Monkey Wrenches. On the blue line, we have Team 1640. Sabotage. And Alliance Captain 5401. The Fighting Robotic Owls. And rounding them out, Team 4575. Gemini. Behind the line, 
three, two, one, crescendo! 5401, Fighting Robotic Al scoring notes for the Blue Alliance during this autonomous mode. Their partner, 1640 Sabotage, just off the mark. Meanwhile, for the Red Alliance, that's Red Watch lining up and off the back of the speaker. As drivers take control, that's the advantage to the Blue Alliance. At the center line, 1640 Sabotage picking up an additional note, helping clear that center line. For the Red Alliance, that's Zero Gravity pushing past their partner, the Mighty Monkey Wrenches. Zero Gravity able to score a note in the speaker. Gemini trying, passing notes along to Gemini passing notes like they're the bad student in class towards their partner, 5401, fighting Robotic Owls. Robotic Owls off the march because Red Watch is right there pushing him. No matter, fighting Robotic Owls still clawing back with their talons. That allows 1640 Sabotage to sneak in there. An aggressive match. Mighty Monkey Wrenches sneak into the red source zone as do Zero Gravity. They get two notes and run and pack off the field. 2180 getting under Gemini. Little bit of a bounce from that center of gravity. Gemini still able to pass the note back towards their side of the field. Fighting Robotic Owls capitalize on that moment. They score in the blue speaker. They get a second one as well. They're up to 12 notes total with over one minute remaining. Zero gravity running fast, running furious for the Red Alliance as they're at that red source zone. They pick up a note, try and traverse the field. There's Gemini in the way. Zero Gravity able to score in an amplified speaker for the Red Alliance. Their partner's Mighty Monkey Wrench is lined up. That's good. That'll get them five additional points. They've got some time to catch up. Over on the blue side of the field, 1640 Sabotage aiming for that amp once again. Their partner's Gemini send it right over the stage to help them out, but they're now 1640 Sabotage now stuck on that note. <laughs> 20 seconds remaining, winner moves on. An excellent spotlight for the Red Alliance. Two spotlights, high notes on microphones. Is that going to be enough to help them out for the Blue Alliance? Sabotage is up on stage with three, two, one. At the last moment, zero gravity appears to be in the air. Mighty Monkey wrenches, it's gonna be close. We'll be back with the final scores in a moment. Moving on in the playoffs is the Blue Alliance with a score of 84 to 37. Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause to our number eight alliance. Team 2720 Red Watch, Red Watch Robotics, Team 2180 Zero Gravity, and 2016 Mighty Monkey Wrenches. A big round of applause as they bow out off the stage in our tournament.
All right, robot fans, this is match number six. We are still in the lower bracket. We have this number seven alliance in red. We have the number six alliance in blue. Let's continue with this elimination tournament. Tommy, please introduce us one more time to team 321. Robo Lancers. And their partner, team 4373. Robotics. And captain of the number seven alliance, team 2722. Charge Robotics. Moving on to the blue alliance. Let's introduce again, team 427. Lance a lot. And Alliance captain right in the middle, team 60 to 26. The Blue Devils. And rounding out the blue line, team 90. 15. Questionable engineering. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Match six underway, lower bracket round two for the Red Alliance 4373. Rubotics placing a second note, going for a third. Their partners 321, Robo Lancers able to get a note as well. On the blue side of the field, that's the Lance a lot scoring as drivers take control. Between them, questionable engineering and the Blue Devils, that gives the advantage to Blue, 33 to 22. There's lots of time left in this match. Robo Lancers and questionable engineering side by side of the center line, picking up notes. Questionable engineering able to race under the blue stage, lining up at the blue subwoofer along their partners, Lancelot. Just off the mark, but Lancelot, it's in, it's good. Meanwhile, for the Red Alliance, Rubotics chopping up. They're good. The pride of Jenkintown scoring in that red speaker. Charges in as well as they amplify the red speaker. That'll get bonus points for those notes. Robo Lancers having a bit of trouble with that note. Unable to get it out. Now the Blue Devils adding insult to injury, pushing them into the stage. But the Robo Lancers fighting back with a minute 20 to go. 
Robo Lancers under the stage, once again pushing against the Blue Devils. That's enough opportunity for Rubotics to score for the Red Alliance in the Red Speaker. Over on the Blue Lines, quickly and quietly, that's 427 Lance a lot. They've got another note in hand. They're lining up at the Blue Speaker. It's in, it's good as they amplify. Their partners, the Blue Devils, placed a note on the floor for them to pick up. That's in and good as well with under a minute to go. Blue Devils and Robo Lancers once again. Do -si do tete tete. Robo Lancers in the red wing for the Red Alliance. They're gonna make it difficult for any team getting to that blue source zone. Blue Devils able to sneak past, but there goes Rubotics bumping into them. Blue Devils drops the note with 33 seconds remaining. Red's got some catching up to do according to the real-time score, but thanks to two quick shots from 27-22, Charge and Rubotics 43-73. It's still neck and neck. Questionable engineering pulling ahead for the Blue Alliance as they score into the blue speaker. 10 seconds left in this match. Teams moving fast and furious across field. Charge at the red stage, lining themselves up with two seconds remaining. One. As time expires, Robo Lancers on stage. Is that enough for the Red Alliance to pull ahead? Will the Blue Alliance become victorious? We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. Moving on in the tournament is the Red Alliance by a score of 77 to 74. Three points in that match, having the Red Alliance moving on. We'll see them again in lower bracket, round three, match number nine. Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause to Alliance 6 as they exit our tournament. 62-26, the Blue Devils. 90-15, Questionable Engineering. And 427, Lance a lot. Let's give them a big round of applause for an amazing competition.
Here we are, Tommy. This is match number seven. On the red alliance is alliance number one. On the blue alliance, that's alliance number four. Tommy, let's introduce our alliance. And we're in the first match back into the upper bracket. Tommy, please introduce us to, Matt, to team 484. Robo Force. And team 103. Cybersonics. And Alliance Captain 90, 58, 95. Petty Robotics. On the blue lines, we have team 69, 21. Technados. And, and team 90, 27. Path to Domination. And 25, 59. The Alliance Captain Normality, zero. Two riders behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. With the first couple shots over on the red lines, that's Petty scoring two. RoboForce does as well. Cybersonics chasing down, shooting from under the stage. They're able to get additional notes scored. Fast and furious for the red alliance. Petty is lining up. They're able to get a seventh note scored. Seven note autonomous for the red alliance. Meanwhile, the blue lines, they've got some catching up to do. Normality Zero already has a note in hand, as do their partners Path to Domination. Technado's placing a note in the blue amplifier. That's three more notes for the blue alliance. Trying to get passed off to the field. That's RoboForce in the way for the red alliance. Technado's still able to get to the blue source zone. Normality Zero lining up at the center field. That's Petty getting past Path to Domination. Petty's able to race past measure themselves and place into the amp as their partner Cybersonics are in the speaker. With a minute 30 left in this match, Cybersonics sending a note back towards their side of the field for the Red Alliance. Petty driving past, they've got a note in hand, lining up, placing it in the amp. For the Blue Alliance, Technado's lining up at the blue subwoofer. It's in as they amplify that speaker. 25-59 capitalizing, they score in the amplified speaker. Red has it amplified as well. Petty with a quick shot in with a minute five remaining. Meanwhile, we've got 484 at the center of the field. They're playing, making it difficult for 2559 to get past. Path to domination. They are disabled. They've lost a bumper. Blue Lions playing down a partner. Technados have got some room to catch up. They're lining up at the blue subwoofer. They score. Petty billing out the theatrics as they pop a wheelie. Now they're having a little bit of clearance issues getting, they're still able to sneak under the blue stage. Normality zero with a note up high. That scores for the blue alliance with 23 seconds remaining. That guitar riff. Shows that we've got 20 seconds left. Cybersonics and Petty scoring for the Red Alliance in that speaker. The Blue Alliance robots, they're able to put a spotlight on the Technados for the Blue Alliance. 25-59, Normality Zero trying to catch up. With three seconds remaining, do they have enough room to get on? As time expires, Technados are spotlight for the Blue Alliance. Over on Red, Petty is in the air as is RoboForce. score of 104 to 51.
The Red Alliance earns a break. They move on to round four. We'll see them next in match 11. Alliance number four moves down to the lower bracket. We'll see them in match number nine in round three. everybody we we are now in match number eight we remained in the upper bracket on the red alliance is alliance number two the blue alliance represents alliance number three they moved on from the previous four two and three of the upper bracket man can you keep this straight let's start with alliance 203 tommy on the red alliance that would be the super bots and we have Team 316. The Lunatics. Alliance Captain 272. Cyber Crusaders. And let's start with the Alliance Captain for the Blue Lines. Team 33, 14. The Mechanical Mustangs. And Team 40, 54, 90. The Dark Bite. And Team 74, 14. Retro Robotics. <laughs> behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Match eight underway in the upper bracket. 74-14, Retro Robotics over on that blue lines, placing a note in the speaker, followed by their partner, the Mechanical Mustangs, 33-14. 33-14 running towards their own driver's station, all in autonomous mode. With the shot, it's up, it's clear, it's good.
Robot fans, we have an arena fault in this match. We've got a speaker jam and not the fun kind. We are going to restart this match. Teams are on the field resetting our head referee. Well, yeah, if you're jamming out to a speaker and it's playing amazing music, that's the fun kind of speaker jam. But this kind of speaker jam, not so fun. Robot fans, if you're missing keys and AirPods uh, that were left behind the blue driver station, please find our field supervisor, Debbie. If you can prove they're yours, you can claim them.
drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. The match so nice, we're starting it twice. Qualification match number eight. This time with more notes, more excitement, more fun for the Blue Line 74-14 Retro Robotics and 33-14 Mechanical Mustang scoring seven notes during that autonomous period. Meanwhile, Lunatech, Cyber Crusaders, and Superbots for the Blue for the Red Alliance score five. Advantage to Red as drivers take control. Robots zipping across field for the Red Alliance. That's the Cyber Crusaders placing into the Red Amplifier. Superbots lined up. It's up. It's good for a score as their partners, Lunatechs, are in for the Red Amp as well. Action by the at the center field. Friendly fire between Lunatechs and Cyber Crusaders. While Dark Bite and Mechanical Mustangs trade places. Dark, excuse me, Dark Bite lining up in that blue source zone. They've got a note in hand trying to get past. Mechanical Mustangs making their way to the source zone, but there's the Superbots getting in the way. By the blue speaker, that is 5490, the Dark Bite lining up to take a shot. Meanwhile, Mechanical Mustangs have placed another note into their blue amp. Retro Robotics scoring in the speaker as well. They get one more note in, lining up another, they do. Real-time score shows a five-point difference advantage to the Blue Alliance with a minute to go. Cyber Crusaders, the number two Alliance captain, lining up at the red subwoofer. Just off the mark, they're gonna chase down yet another note. Their partners, Lunatech's in for the quick shot in that amplified speaker. Cyber Crusaders able to score for the Red Alliance. Can the Superbots get in as well while that speaker is amplified? Not in time, but they're still able to score that note for points. 35 seconds remaining in this match. Over on the blue lines, that's 5490. The Dark Bite lining up at the Reds, at the blue subwoofer. It's in, it's good as their partners, Mechanical Mustang, score in the blue amp. 7414 Retro Robotics lining up. They're shooting on the run as that speaker is amplified. 20 seconds remaining for the Blue Alliance. That's a dark bike climbing on stage. They've got their hooks in that chain, seeing if they can raise up. With 10 seconds remaining, a spotlight on the dark bike for the Blue Alliance. Mechanical Mustangs are up off the floor. On the Red Alliance, as time expires, Retro Robotics in the way of Mechanical Mustangs. But for the Red Alliance, Cyber Crusaders are up with a trap note. Lunatechs hanging on, making harmony with their partners, the Superbots. Moving on in the upper bracket, the Blue Alliance with a score of 100 to 91. 80 points in the speaker in that match for the Blue Alliance. We'll see our alliance number three back in round four, match number 11, they get the pass. Meanwhile, Alliance 2 drops down to the lower bracket. We'll see them shortly in match 10.
Matt. Okay, we're gonna continue on now. We're in match number nine, and we're back in the lower bracket for match none. On the red alliance, we have the number four alliance. In the blue, we have the number seven alliance. So let's get started. Let's introduce team captain, team 2559. Normality zero. And their partner team, 9027. Path to domination. And rounding out the Red Alliance team, 6921. Technados. On the Blue Alliance, match number nine, we have team 2722, the captain, George Robotics. And their alliance partner, team 4373. Robotics. And three, Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. For the Red Alliance, path to domination, launching that note, not able to connect it, but their partners at Technado 6921 getting a second note in for the Red Alliance. But over on blue, we've got four notes so far scored. Thanks to the work of Charge, Robo Lancers, and Rubotics. One point advantage according to the real time score advantage going to blue. These teams fighting to stay alive. For the Red Alliance, 6921, the Technados, they've got a note in hand lining up with that arm mechanism. It's in, it's good for the amplifier. Normality Zero following right behind, lining up at the subwoofer. 321 Robo Lancers skating across field as their partners Rubotic score in the red in the blue speaker. Charge chasing down that blue amplifier. They're able to lift the note in effortlessly with a minute 35 to go. 4373 Rubotics trying to get back towards their side of the field. They're able to outmaneuver Path to Domination. A tussle between Path and the Robo Lancers. Robo Lancers and Rubotics meet underneath the blue stage. A little bit of an impact and parts rolling. Somebody lost a drivetrain belt, a drive belt of some flavor. But Rubotics, they're lining up. They're trying to get that note intake. 9027 Path to Domination controlling the Red Wing. Meanwhile, 2559 Normality Zero able to score a note for Red, as do the Technados. Red Alliance currently leading with 49 seconds to go. 321 Robo Lancers, they're guarding that side of the field as Normality Zero trying to get past. Running into Robo Lancers, running into Technados. They're able to cross the center field, go under the red stage, make their way towards the red speaker with 30 to go. Robotics lining up under the blue speaker. Winner of this match moves on. As these teams are getting ready for the end game, 20 seconds to go. High notes flying, path to domination climbs up. They are on stage for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance has a spotlight over Normality Zero, who's also up. All three robots for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance calling it close with two, one. 321 Robo Lancers and 2722 charge up. Close match to the real time score. We'll be back with a final in just a moment. The winner of this match is Red Alliance by a score of 63 to 54. Alliance number four moves on to round four, match number 12.
Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause for our number seven alliance with our friends 321, the Robo Lancers, 270, 27, 22 Charge, and 4373 Robotics for an amazing competition. All right, this is match number 10. After this match, we get a video break. But for match number 10, Red Alliance is Alliance number two. The Blue Alliance is Alliance number five. They moved up from lower brackets, matches five and six, respectively. Tommy, please introduce our team for us. Let's start with the Red Alliance and team 203. Super Bots. And Team 316. The Lunatics. And Alliance Captain 272. Cyber Crusaders. On the Blue Alliance, we have Team 1640. Sabotage. Alliance Captain 5401! The Fighting Robotic Owls! And Team 4575! Gemini!
Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Round three, match number 10. Three great notes from the Blue Alliance. 5401 follows it up with number four. For the Red Alliance, 316 Lunatex shooting fast and furious. Tracking down that note placed by the podium. It comes out broken. As drivers take control, Blue Alliance has the advantage. 1640 Sabotage over by the Blue Amplifier. Lining up, they're able to place it in. Their partners fighting Robotic Owls by the Red Source Zone. Trying to sneak in there, but there's Superbots and Cyber Crusaders. Cyber Crusaders under the Red Stage. That's up, it's good. That gets some additional points, and they've amplified that speaker. Meanwhile, Gemini, that strategy that they've been using frequently, they've got, they're picking up notes from the blue source zone, getting to center field, and with the chip shot, sending it towards their partner. But this time, Lunatex able to drive over it. Fighting Robotic Owls chases down that note. They're able to grab it, moving to the blue subwoofer. It's up and in. Blue Alliance has the slight advantage, thanks to the quick work of Fighting Robotic Owls, scoring yet again. 1640 Sabotage racing across field with their partners, Gemini. By the blue source zone, Superbots in the way. They've got to be careful. Cyber Crusaders, the number two alliance captain. They've scored in that amplified speaker with a minute to go. Blue has got their speaker amplified. 1640 Sabotage capitalizing. They're able to score. 10 points separate these teams. Blue has the advantage, but Lunatex cut into that by placing the note in their red amp. 1640 Sabotage trying to place the note in their respective amp as well. Fighting Robotic Al score for Blue. 203 Superbots scoring as the red amp is now amplified. Cyber Crusaders score as well. Under 30 seconds go, two point difference by the real time score. That guitar sounds, we've got 20 minutes. Blue Alliance has a spotlight. Can their robots go up as well? 1640 Sabotage and 5401 fighting robotic owls in harmony with seven seconds remaining. Cyber Crusaders place a trap note for the Red Alliance. With two seconds remaining, the Lunatechs are able to make harmony with 203 Superbots. As time expires, these robots fighting for their chance on the chorus line. We've got a spotlight on red, a spotlight on blue. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. Stage and leaving in the beginning, making the difference in this match. Our number two alliance moves on to round four, match 12. Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause to our number five alliance as they exit the stage. The fighting Robotic Owls, Sabotage, and Gemini for an amazing competition. Teams, that's our first break, first break of our double elimination playoffs. So now we're going to take this break and show you some videos. We have the Digital Animation Award winner. We have the Safety Award winner that we described yesterday. That's Pally 18 from Palo, Palo, Palo Alto, California. So let's show those videos, please.
our last we messed you lately. We gotta practice safety. You get no free passes. Put on your safety glasses. I would never lie. Keep your laces tied. You will never stress if your lab is not a mess. If your battery leaks, don't throw a fit. Pour on some baking soda to neutralize it. Don't daily chain. Let's not cause any pain. I love my team because we get to do steam. If, if we, we work, work as one, safety can be fun. There's a mystery in the breeze. The workshop has been destroyed, and we need to find who done it. We've brought it down to three suspects. Each one looks more mischievous than the last. It looks like suspect one is missing some hair. They did not tie their hair up in the shop. To avoid this, always tie your hair up into a bun or back into a ponytail when working on the robot. Suspect two is clearly a cheese doodle fan. That would explain those fingerprints. Make sure to eat food away from the build area to keep it clean. Suspect three seems innocent. Wait, is that battery acid on that guy's shirt? Make sure to hold the battery with two hands or with the strap. Never hold it by the cables. Hmm. Who could it be? I've got it. The whole team is guilty. One person is not responsible for safety culture. Everyone is responsible for cultivating a safe working environment. First isn't something that you do. It's not something you do. It's something you are. I'm an innovator. I'm a mentor. I am a maker. A change maker. I'm a leader. First isn't something I did. It's something I am. It's, it's something, something I, I am. am. First is first is first is something, something I am. am. Now generations, hundreds of thousands of former FIRST team members have become alumni. And it's an impressive group that many of you will join after this season. FIRST alums are working in every industry, and many continue to use their STEM and communication skills in the art, design, and entertainment fields. We are so grateful to all the alumni who volunteer at events, as team mentors, and behind the scenes, donating their talents to FIRST supporting our programs, and building for the future. From game design reviewers to writing code, we're thankful for everything they do, giving back, and helping FIRST grow. So, a big thanks to all our alums, and be sure to thank them on your team or at your events. They help make FIRST happen.
ready for match number 11. On the red alliance, we have the number one alliance. On the blue, we have the number three alliance. So we're ready to go now for match number 11. Tommy, let's introduce our teams. Team 484. Robo Force. And Team 103. Cyber Sonics. Team Captain 5895. Petty Robotics. And speaking of Alliance Captains, we have the Alliance Captain 3314. Mechanical Mustangs. And Team 5490. The Dark Bite. And Team 7414. Retro Robotics. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Th two notes scored for the Blue Alliance. Dark Bites one bounces out. Retro Robotics scoring number three as they chase down yet another. Over on the Red Alliance, Petty with that sure shot. Racing back, they've already got seven notes scored. They get an eighth. 40 point autonomous for the Red Alliance. As drivers take control, it's still only a 10 point game. Down on the red side of the field, that's RoboForce, Team 484, preventing Mechanical Mustangs, off adding resistance, trying to get to the source zone. Mechanical Mustangs able to go under the red stage as they go pat towards the blue amplifier. Now Retro Robotics trying to get to the blue source zone, but there's RoboForce once again acting as the deterrent. They're the resistor in this audio connection. Petty and Dark Bike collide under the blue stage. Petty now bouncing around and getting against Mechanical Mustangs as both teams respond. Going back to their respective zones. Cyber Sonic's able to score for the Red Alliance in the speaker. Two quick notes. Petty getting two notes in the red amp. With a minute 20 to go. 74-14 Retro Robotics under the blue speaker. They're able to place a note. Followed by their partners, 3314 Mechanical Mustangs. That's a good note into the blue amp. With just over one minute remaining, Retro Robotics loses a bumper. That's going to be a disable for those, those folks. That's the advantage that the Red Alliance may need. Petty has got another note scored into their amplifier. They're able to grasp hold of one, and now they've got an amplified speaker as Cybersonics, their partners, join in. Petty jammed up underneath the blue stage. 35 seconds remaining. This makes it a 2v2 match, but their partner Cybersonics free them with 27 seconds left to go.
for the Blue Lions, 54-90, the dark bite. There at the blue subwoofer, they're scoring the note, end over end, it's in, it's good. With 15 seconds remaining, notes flying high. Alliance is trying to get to their respective stations. 484, RoboForce, they're on the red stage. The note bouncing around. With three seconds remaining, we've got three Red Alliance robots up. Mechanical Mustangs, it's gonna be close. We'll be back with the final scores in just a moment. Your voice. to the finals. The Red Alliance by a score of 108 to 80. The Red Alliance moves on to the finals. We'll see Alliance one. Meanwhile, Alliance three moves on to round five. We'll see them next in match 13. All right, robot fans, this is the second of two matches in round number four. If you haven't noticed yet, the top four alliances have faded to round number four. We already saw one eliminated, and now we're gonna play the second. On the red alliance, that is alliance number two, and we have alliance blue alliance, alliance number four. So let's continue with this, with this playoff. For the Red Alliance, Tommy, Team 203. The Super Pots. And that playing with Team 316 again. Lunatics. And our Alliance Captain, Team 272. Cyber Crusaders.
on the blue line, Team 69-21. Technadoes. Team 90-27. Path to domination. And Alliance Captain 25-59. Normality zero. behind the lines three two one crescendo qualification round four match 12 excuse me we're in the lower bracket these alliances the winner moves on on the blue alliance 25 59 normality zero lining up against the blue amp as their partners check nato score in the blue speaker but the advantage by two points is to the red alliance Thanks to the handiwork of the Lunatech Cyber Crusaders and Tet Superbots. 316 Lunatechs, they placed a note inside the red amp. Their partner Cyber Crusaders lining up at that amp as well. Deciding instead to go for the speaker. It's up, it's good. Followed right by Lunatechs. They've already amplified that speaker. That's one, two amplified notes. Can Superbots complete the trifecta? They're not able to do so in time. Meanwhile, 69-21 Technado scoring in the amplified blue speaker. Normality's hero following right behind. It's up, it's good. 
Bumper to bumper, neck to neck. That's 90-27, Path to Domination, trying to get out of the blue wing, but there's the Lunatics making their way to the red source zone. Traffic Jam is now Superbots go the long way around the stage. Superbots lining up at the red subwoofer, trying to get to that speaker. With a minute 10 to go, advantage to the Red Alliance. Two notes scored from Superbots and Lunatex, a third by the Cyber Crusaders as that red speaker is amplified. One minute to go over on the blue side of the field, Normality Zero, 25-59, trying to get a hold of that note. Cyber Crusaders playing keep away. Technado's able to score as they amplify the blue speaker. Meanwhile, now we got Superbots hung up on the blue stage. They're able to free themselves with 38 seconds remaining. Two quick shots into the blue speaker. That's two more notes scored. As Red amplifies their speaker, it's the Lunatex in and good. While Superbots taking the last 30 seconds to make sure that they can get on stage. 20 seconds to go in this match. The winner moves on and continues to play. On the Red Alliance, Cyber Crusaders are up and they score a trap note. Lunatex are up, Superbots are up. With five seconds remaining, all six robots off the ground. We'll be back with the final scores in just a moment. Moving on to our playoffs. Red Alliance with a score of 104 to 60. We'll see Alliance number two up next in the lower bracket, round five, match 13. Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause to our number four Alliance for an amazing competition. 25-59, Normality Zero. 90-27, Path to Domination. And 69-21, the Technados. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right, everybody, that concludes round number four. That concludes round number four. We're ready to go into award segment number one. With that, judges, could you please come up and enter the field? Just as you see the judges entering the field on the Red Alliance side, we expect teams to also enter on the Red Alliance side. Come by be congratulated by the judges, and then exit on the Blue Lion side. I believe we're ready to get started. There we go. I'll come on down the end here. Stay out of everybody's way. Our first award in this segment is the Imagery Award. It is in honor of Jack Kamen, Dean's father, for his dedication to art, illustration, and his devotion to FIRST. This award celebrates attractiveness in engineering and outstanding visual aesthetic integration of machine and team appearance. This is what the judges had to say about the winner of the Imagery Award. This team will inspire you to leave your comfort zone and explore other worlds. They do it with a great mixture of professionalism and fun. 
This team's imagery was truly out of this world. Congratulations to team number 4575. Team 4575, Gemini from the Eastern PA Robotics Alliance out of Springfield, Pennsylvania. Founded in 2013, this is their 12th season competing with first. Congratulations, Gemini. Our next award is the Gracious Professionalism Award. It celebrates outstanding demonstration of first core values such as continuous gracious professionalism, working together both on and off the field of play. The winning teams exemplifies the principles of first, fairness, humility, positivity, and respect. Here's what the judges had to say about the winner of the GP award. When their members needed a little help, this team swam into action. They helped deconflict interpersonal issues among team members to make a more inclusive environment for everyone. They have a great grasp of gracious professionalism. The winner of the Gracious Professionalism Award is team number 321. 321, the Robo Lancers from Central High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Founded in 1999, this is their 26th season competing with first. Congratulations to the Robo Lancers. Our net, that's a big team. Our next award is the Team Spirit Award, which celebrates extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit throughout, through ex exceptional partnership and teamwork furthering the objectives of FIRST. This is what the, t the judges had to say about the winner of the Team Spirit Award. When it comes to cheerful optimism, this team leads the charge. They have a method for celebrating success, and every step of the way, they give a hoot. Congratulations to team number 5401. Team 5401, the Fighting Robotic Owls from Ben Salem High School in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Founded in 2015, this is their 10th season competing with first. Congratulations to our hosts, the Fighting Robotic Owls.
Our next award is the Rookie Inspiration Award, which celebrates a rookie team, outstanding success in advancing respect and appreciation for engineering and engineers, both within their school as well as within their community. This is what the judges had to say about the Rookie Inspiration Award winner. This team executes the mission of first. Their imagery was never clandestine. There's no sneaking past these spy guys. Congratulations to team number 9416. Team 9416 Ithwa, International Operatives of World Affairs from William W. Bodine High School in Philadelphia, PA. This is their rookie season competing with first. Congratulations, Ithwa. Okay, so our final award is the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. And here to present that is Danielle Hassan from Team 316, our 2023 <laughs> district nominee. And she's going to join and recognize the next nominees. Congratulations. Thank you. The nominees for this district event are being shown on the screen. I think. There we go. Please come to the floor now and be recognized. First Robotics stands apart from other competitions in STEM and sports due to the first ethos of gracious professionalism, the concept of cooperation, and the commitment to the first core values. The guiding force behind these principles was Dr. Woody Flowers, Dr. William Murphy Jr., who was instrumental in creating the concept of first with Dean Kamen, recognized the unique perspective, wisdom, and communication style that Woody brought to the first robotics competition. In honor of Woody, Dr. Murphy founded the Woody Flowers Award in 1996. He recognized that the first ethos would be carried forward by our first mentors and sought to celebrate those mentors who demonstrate the leadership, ethical behavior, and communication skills exemplified by Woody. Students are uniquely positioned to share evidence of how their mentors have led their team through their knowledge, dedication, and unwavering gracious support. In their own concisely written words, students nominate a team mentor by their inspiring Woody Flowers essays. With this award, we celebrate excellence in communication in the art and science of engineering and design. Woody believed societies get the best of what they celebrate. Being recognized by students through nomination essays makes this honor very meaningful to mentors. It is truly an honor for a mentor to be nominated for this award. I would now like the mentors that you have nominated to introduce themselves. Please state your name, your team number, and the number of years you've been a mentor. Hi, John Cross, Team 272. And 17 years. 
is Raya Kayla, team 321 and 427, three years? Michael Johnson, 10 years with 321 and now 427. Jose Quijas, 9027, 17 years. Virginia McKay, 5401, nine years. Cassie Peza, Team 44 for six years. Uh, Sue Ann Scott with Team 2720, seven years. Maybe eight. Congratulations to you all. At the 2024 First Mid-Atlantic District Championship event, two mentors will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then at the championship in Houston, one mentor will be selected from renominated past finalists to receive the 2024 championship Woody Flowers Award. Thank you, congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations once again to our Woody Flowers Award finalists. Let's hear it for them one more time. It's now time to get back to the competition. We're getting ready for match number 13. Are you guys ready to continue to crescendo? Let's get her rolling. All right, teams on the field. All right, we're in round five. This is match number 13 in round five. The winner of the upper bracket was Alliance number one. They've already moved on to the finals. Now this is the lower bracket, 
and the winner of this will move on to the finals to face Alliance number one. So let's get this started. How about it, Tommy? Let's introduce uh, team 7414 from Alliance number three. Retro Robotics. And team 5490. The Dark Bite. And the captain 3314. Mechanical Mustangs. Moving on back over, this is Alliance number two is in the blue alliance. And it is Team Captain 272! Cyber Crusaders! And their partner 316! The Lunatics! And 203! Superbots! Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. When these two alliances met in round two, our alliance number three took the win by a score of 100 to 91. They're showing why with that fast and efficient scoring by 33, 14, Mechanical Mustangs and 74, 14, the Retro Robotics. But it's tied up as drivers take control. Over on the blue lines, we've got the Lunatex 316 trying to get that note from Mechanical Mustang's grasp. 272 Cyber Crusaders able to get a note and place it into the blue amp. 203 Superbots here in the blue alliance lined up at the blue subwoofer. It's up, it's good with two minutes to go. On the red side of the field, that's a dark bite for Team 5490 for the red alliance with a note in hand. That's enough time for the Superbots and Lunatex to exit the blue source zone and both are able to score notes into the blue speaker. Superbots and Dark Bite bump, bumpers at center of the field. All six very efficient cycling robots in this match. Team 5490, the Dark Bite under the red stage as 272 Cyber Crusaders hit every robot possible making their way back towards the blue speaker. All three Blue Alliance robots line up, but only Superbots makes it as the blue speaker is amplified. 272 Cyber Crusaders chase down that note. Not off, not able to get it in. With the minute to go, tie score according to the real time score. Dark Bite missing that last shot. 74 14 Retro Robotics lining up to see if they can capitalize. They do as the Red Alliance amplifies the speaker. That's a second note scored. Mechanical Mustangs following Dark Bite lining up. As the blue amplification, the red amplification expires, 74-14, Retro Robotics able to score that note. Red taking the lead according to our real-time score with about 30 seconds left in this match. Lunatex and Retro Robotics bump at midfield. Lunatex just short of scoring in the blue speaker. They make their way back towards the source zone. That sound means we've got 20 seconds left. These teams looking to move on and punch their ticket into the finals. The Dark Bite climbing for the blue for the Red Alliance. They're on with five seconds remaining. Over on the Blue Alliance, Cyber Crusaders trying to get that trap done, and they do as time expires. All three Blue Alliance robots appear to be on stage. Is that enough for the Blue Alliance to move on to the finals? Has the Red solidified their lead? We'll be back with the final scores in just a moment. Robot fans, four points decided this match. The scores are in. Moving on to the finals is... The Blue Alliance 
by a score of 90 to 86. Alliance 2 advances the face Alliance 1 in the finals. Robot fans, let's give a big round of applause for our number three alliance, the Mechanical Mustangs, Retro Robotics, and the Dark Bite for an amazing competition. Let's give our number three alliance, finishing in third, a big round of applause. That concludes round number five, match number 13. Now we're ready for award segment number two. Judges, can we have you back onto the field, please? And again, teams, as you come down for your award, enter from the Red Alliance side, exit from the Blue Alliance side. All right, we are ready to get started. Our award, segment number two, our first award is the Autonomous Award, which celebrates the team that has demonstrated, demonstrated consistent, reliable, high-performance robot operation during autonomously managed actions. Evaluation is based on the robot's ability to sense its surroundings, position itself or onboard mechanisms appropriately, and execute tests. This is what the judges had to say about the winner of the Autonomous Award. This team had the mindset of less is more. They didn't want to click any superfluous buttons. Some could say their robot made decisions as fast as a car. Congratulations to team number 3314, winner of the Autonomous Award. Team 3314, the Mechanical Mustangs from Clifton High School in Clifton, New Jersey. Founded in 2010, this is their 15th season competing with first. Congratulations to the Mechanical Mustangs. Our next award is the Creativity Award, which is sponsored by Rockwell Automation. It celebrates creativity that enhances strategy of play and was intentionally designed and not discovered. This is what the judges had to say about the Creativity Award winner. This team exemplifies innovation, leveraging simplicity and excellence, pivoting on point. 
Through optimized design attributes, their creativity was eye-opening and they were light on their wheels. This team exemplifies thinking outside of their bucket. Congratulations to team number 6226. Team 6226, the Blue Devils from Burlington City High School in Burlington, New Jersey. Founded in 2016, this is their ninth season competing with first. Congratulations to the Blue Devils. Our next award is the Quality Award. The Quality Award celebrates machine robustness in concept and fabrication. Building the robot is only part of their success, and the judges recognize them as a quality example to others. This is what the judges had to say about the winner of the Quality Award. This team charted a path for fabrication and maintainability through their design model. They excelled with the approach of utilizing maintenance concepts that support an overall quality to do all that they do. This team's approach to logging and dashboards exemplifies a quality to design and execution. Congratulations to Team 5895, winner of the Quality Award. Team 5895, Petty Robotics from the Petty School in Heightstown, New Jersey. Founded in 2016, this is their ninth season competing with first. Congratulations to Petty Robotics. Congratulations, guys. Our final award in this segment is the Industrial Design Award sponsored by General Motors. The design award celebrates the team that demonstrates industrial design principles striking a balance between form, function, and aesthetics. This is what the judges had to say. This team built a robot that is both elegant and functional. Their robust design process makes it more than the sum of their components. They bring the harmony to industrial design. Congratulations to team number 272. Team 272, the Cyber Crusaders from Lansdale Catholic High School in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Founded in 1998, this is their 27th season competing with first. Congratulations to the Cyber Crusaders.
And that completes award segment number two. Please return to your seats, judges. Thank you very much, judges. And now we're going to get the robots ready for our finals match. And we have alliance number one in the red and alliance number two in blue. Let's see. And by the way, they have to win two matches to take the championship. So let's get this party started, everybody. Robots on the field. So we do have five minutes left. We still have five minutes left in this break for robots to get onto the field.
We're just about ready to start the finals, folks. We're just about there. But before we do, we want the teams, this, this traditional congratulatory handshake and or high five in the center of the field. So let's call the teams out onto the field. First of all, for the Red Alliance, Alliance number one, Team Captain 5895, come on out in the field. Out of Heightstown, New Jersey, Patty Robotics. And teams, please line up in front of your respective stage. Thank you. And their partner, 103. From Kittnersville, Pennsylvania, Cybersonics. And team 484. Out of Habertown, Pennsylvania, Robo Force. Now for the Blue Alliance, Alliance number two, let's welcome Team Captain 272. From Come Lansdale, Pennsylvania, the Cyber Crusaders. And their first selection was Team 316. From Carney's Point, New Jersey, the Lunatics. And 203. From Sicklerville, New Jersey, the Superbots. Congratulations to our finalist teams. Let's get together, guys. Wish each other well. Gracious professionalism. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo.
Let's try this one more time. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo! We know how to build up suspense in this Penn Salem Finals match one. Four notes already scored, a fifth and six for the Red Alliance, courtesy of Petty and Cybersonics. They're already at seven over on the Red Alliance. Make that eight, eight, nine notes scored. That's three chords worth for you. That's almost a full orchestration for the Red Alliance as drivers take control. 272 Cybersonics for the Blue Alliance, lined up at the Blue Amp, looking to place that amp in there. The note is placed in the amp, it's good. As their partner Superbots score, they're able to instantly amplify that Blue Amp. But the Lunatechs are stuck with Cybersonics under that blue stage, not being able to capitalize on the blue amplified speaker. Over at the red side of the field, that's RoboForce 484, playing strong defense against 203, the Superbots. Superbots, they have got a note in hand, trying to get back to their field. Now they're running into Petty. Meanwhile, Petty Robotics 5895, our number one alliance captain. They've got a note scored in the red amplifier with a minute 15 left in this match. Blue Alliance responds thanks to Superbot scoring in the Blue Alliance speaker. At the red source zone, that's Petty scoring across the field. Cyber Sonics, they've got a note in hand, trying to send it back towards their human players, towards their operators. They're able to place it over the Lunatechs with 50 seconds remaining. 272 Cyber Crusaders and 203 Superbots able to score two notes into that amplified blue speaker with 40 seconds remaining. We've seen large point swings still in these matches. For the Red Alliance, that's 484 RoboForce doing a dosido -do with 272. The Cyber Crusaders chasing them down. Cyber Crusaders and Superbots able to make it back to the blue speaker. <laughs> With 20 seconds remaining, Cyber Crusaders on stage. They're trying to adjust. They want to get that trap note. That's a red spotlight over 484 Robo Force. Blue Alliance Cyber Crusaders able to get the trap. 203 Superbots and Lunatechs in harmony on the blue stage. All three Red Alliance robots, Cyber Sonics, Robo Force, and Petty on the red stage. We've got the scores for finals match number one going up on screen. The win goes to the Red Alliance with a score of 89 to 53. we please have the judges back on the field for our next award segment. Thank you.
Our next award is the Innovation In Control Award. It celebrates an innovative control system or application of control components, electrical, mechanical, or software, to provide unique machine functions. This is what the judges had to say about the winner of the Innovation In Control Award. This team didn't only want to rely on LEDs or limelights to tell them what was going on. Custom code on a Pi gave them high confidence when looking for notes. Changing control orientation and a backup red bar gave their driver confidence. Congratulations to team number 2720. Team 2720 Red Watch Robotics is from Lenape High School in Medford, New Jersey. Founded in 2009, this is their 16th season competing with first. Congratulations, Team 2720 Red Watch Robotics. Our next award is the Excellence in Engineering Award. This award celebrates the team that demonstrates a professional approach to the design process and whose design is elegant and advantageous on the field of play. This is what the judges had to say. This team demonstrated their structured and mature approach to design and play execution. Excellence has, has been achieved through design ethos, a focus on learning and leveraging strengths of each member. This team exceeds expectations in embodiment of engineering professionalism. This is what this team, congratulations to them, to team number 9015. Team 9015, questionable engineering from Jersey City, New Jersey. Founded in 2023, this is their second season competing with first. Congratulations, team. 9015 questionable engineering Our next award is the Team Sustainability, Wa S Sustainability Award sponsored by Dow. The Sustainability Award celebrates and recognizes a team which has developed sustainable practices and have a positive environmental, environmental impact and achieve long-term continuity. This is what the judges had to say. Everyday gamers need a little help with finding a plan. They need an intelligent risk aversion at hand. Luckily, this team has a few lawyers on demand. Congratulations to Team 2016. Team 2016, the Mighty Monkey Wrenches from Ewing High School in Ewing, New Jersey. Founded in 2007, this is their 18th season competing with first. Congratulations to the Mighty Monkey Wrenches.
And now the judges award. Well, the judges award, you know, during the course of the competition, the judging panel may decide that a team's unique efforts, performance or dynamics merit recognition, yet this team does not fit any of the existing award categories. Well, the judges have come up with a judges award and they had this to say about the team. The season is a journey for all teams. This team story led us down a stony path where the students and robots were the characters. The Judges Award for Immersive World Building goes to team number 427. Team 427, Lancelot from Central High School in Philadelphia, PA. Founded in 1999, this is their 26th season competing with first Congratulations, Team 427, Lancelot. And that concludes this award segment. So we're going to once again ask the judges to please return to their chairs so we can continue on with our finals. So, Tommy, who won match number one? We're ready to get ready for match number two of our finals. We have six minutes left for the teams to get ready. So in the meantime, let's see if we can get some fun and get some Get some energy rising in this room.
All right, everybody, we're ready to start finals match number two. Remember that the Red Alliance won match number one. Blue Alliance, it's up to you to take it, take this match and maybe tie it up. But you remember, the Alliance has to win two matches to be declared champions. So Tommy, let's reintroduce our teams. Alliance number one in the red, Team 484. Robo Force. Team 103. Cybersonics. And Team 5895. Patty Robotics. That is Alliance one captain. Alliance 2, let's introduce the captain team, 272! The Cyber Crusaders! And they chose to partner with Team 316! Lunatics! And rounding out this wonderful Alliance team, 203! Superbots! Here we go, finals match number two. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo! The Red Alliance had a strong autonomous mode in our first meeting. Lunatex springing to life. They've got two already scored. That gets a third by them by themselves. That's four total notes for the Blue Alliance, making that five. As drivers take control, Red has a slight advantage, only two notes over the blue lines in that autonomous mode. 316 Lunatechs racing around the field. They've got that note in hand, raising it up for the blue amp. It's in, it's good. Petty Robotics trying to get past the blue stage. They're able to outmaneuver Superbots, lining up for that red amplifier. It's in, it's good. Cybersonic's able to put another note in for the Red Alliance in their speaker. Action by the Red Source Zone. That's Cybersonics and Petty trying to race past field. A little bit of a collision between Petty and Lunatex. Cyber Crusaders on the move. We've got a note stuck under the speaker with a minute 30 to go. Could that be the difference in this match? Cybersonics sending a note over the stage back to their partners, Petty on the Red Alliance. Petty placing one note in the amp, going for a second. By the blue speaker, 272, Cyber Crusaders just off the mark. Robot fans, we have a field panel that has come off, thus causing a safety concern. Thus, we must abort the match. Teams, please come up to the field and reset your robots.
are set here on the field to resume and replay match number two of our finals. With that, drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo! All six robots springing to life. Two quick scores for the Blue Alliance during this autonomous mode. All pre-programmed instructions. We've already got three notes scored for the Blue Alliance. Lunatech's getting a fourth. Petty, however, able to get a sixth in. A two-note advantage once again by the Red Alliance. It's a small margin, only eight points. This rope match can swing either way quickly. Action by the blue side of the field. Cybersonic with the note in hand. They're able to get back towards the red side. Shooting with their partners, Petty. Petty able to get a score into the amplified speaker. That's a second note in. Over on the blue side of the field, Lunatex lining up for that amp. They're able to place a note in. That'll help them get ready to amplify their speaker. Cyber Crusaders 272 in a Red Alliance sandwich. Trying to get Petty to break. Petty Robotics at their red source zone. Getting past Superbots Team 203, zipping across field. Waving to Lunatex on the way. Lunatex off the mark for the Blue Alliance. Petty right in for the red amp. With a minute 15 left, these robots moving fast and furious across field. At the center line, that's the Cyber Crusaders, the captain of the number two Blue Alliance. Trying to get... With that hit by the Cyber Crusaders, they've knocked 103 Cybersonics out of the field, and unfortunately that causes us to stop the match once again.
They say the third time's a charm. Reds ahead, blue, you know what you need to do. Drivers behind the lines, three, two, one, crescendo. A match so nice, we're starting it thrice. This time with 58.95, Petty Robotics over on the Red Alliance. They're getting notes. We're already up to four notes scored for the Red. Over on the Blue Alliance, that's 316 Lunatics. They move their way towards the podium, lining up at the subwoofer. Four notes to two, still very much anybody's game. The advantage to the Red Alliance. Cybersonics making their way towards the Red Source Zone. They've got a note in hand, sending it over the Red Stage towards their partners, Petty, over by the Red Amplifier. That's Team 203 Superbots running into RoboForce, a force to be reckoned with. Doing a little bit of a do -si do both robots spinning around each other. Superbots able to get free, moving towards the blue subwoofer. The crowd here is as electric as the robots are. 272 Cyber Crusaders waiting for their moment. 5895 Petty right by them trying to get those notes. Petty is able to do so. Shooting on the run, that's Cybersonic Team 103, getting two more notes into the red amplifier. Petty scoring in the red amplifier. Here comes Lunatex. Lunatex Team 316, they're at the blue source. Getting a note from their human player, they're able to outmaneuver RoboForce as they cross the center line, going towards the field. With just over one minute left to play, Cybersonics on the Red Alliance, Team 103, by that Red Source Zone, trying to pick up a note. Then there's the Superbots, 203, restricting their movement, but Cybersonics able to get free and score a note into the Red Speaker. 45 seconds remaining in this match. Lunatex soaring across field, trying to get to that Blue Source Zone, but RoboForce is right on their bumper. Superbots helping them out to get to that source zone. Meanwhile, Petty Robotics streaking across the field, 58-95, lining up. They are able to score in that amplified speaker with their partner, Cybersonics. 23 seconds remaining, 272 Cyber Crusaders. They are up and moving again, trying to raise up on stage, place that trap note. 13 seconds left. As the robots make their way to the stage, we've got a spotlight on red with a Petty Robotics under it as their partners RoboForce are on stage. Three, two, one. All three Blue Alliance robots. It's gonna be close with Cyber Crusaders, Lunatex, and Superbots in harmony as we finally finish finals match two. We've got the scores locked in. Going up on screen, the win goes to Red Alliance with a score of 92 to 39. Alliance One are our winners here at the Ben Salem District event. We will recognize the hard work of all six teams in as we finish our award ceremony in just a moment.
tremendous job by the two teams in the finals and especially by every team in this building. But now, as we conclude this, we first will give and complete the rest of our awards. So once again, judges, please come out onto the field for our final award ceremony of the day. First, we're going to recognize those individuals nominated by their teams. It is time to recognize the Dean's List District Championship semifinalists. These are outstanding, passionate student leaders who demonstrate exemplary effectiveness at attaining first ideals. They were nominated by their teams for their direct contributions and impact on others, exemplifying leadership and commitment on the team and in their community. First Dean's List District Championship semifinalist recognized here today will move forward to compete at the District Championship. Today, we'd like to the following students to come down to be recognized. Congratulations to Nikhil B from team number 316. And congratulations again to Ethan Z from team number 5401. So we're going to hold just for a brief second. We have a little bit of the camera issues. We'd like to have our recognitions up on here. So if we could just hold for a few minutes, maybe a little bit of music to keep us entertained in the background. Please, Scott.
Hey, look at this. We've got cameras back. We're ready to continue the award ceremony. Yay for the engineers in the background. Speaking of engineers, we're now ready to present the Engineering Inspiration Award. This award celebrates outstanding success in advancing respect and appreciation for engineering with a, in a team, school, or organization and their community. Inspiring others to respect science and technology requires passion, knowledge, and commitment, and we recognize these qualities through this award. So, what we judges had to say about this award is that the, this team pulls and spreads its members across a large area running their own fundraisers. They chart their course to continuous improvement. Their name may be quite crazy, but they inspire all of us. Congratulations on the Engineering Inspiration Award, Team 316! Team 316 Luna Tex from Carney's Point, New Jersey. Founded in 1999, this is their 26th season competing with first. Congratulations to Team 316, the Lunatics! And now let's recognize what happened on the competition field here today. Let's celebrate the alliance that made it to the final match of the competition. First recognizes the talent of these outstanding competitors. They were sensational, and we are proud to honor them. Please, let us congratulate and have them come down. The district finalists, the alliance captain, team number 272. Team 272, the Cyber Crusaders from Lansdale Catholic High School in Lansdale, PA. And as they make their way through this line, let's bring down Team 316, their partner. The Lunatex from Carney's Point, New Jersey. And rounding out this 
incredibly competitive alliance, Team 203. Team 203 Superbots from Camden County Technical School in Sicklerville, New Jersey. And now I present to you our district event winner, the FMA Ben Salium champions who've performed a powerful alliance and rose to the many challenges of Crescendo and proved to be an exciting and competitive combination. They can now proudly hang a winner's banner in their pit. Congratulations to Alliance Captain, team number 5895. Team 5895, Petty Robotics from the Petty School in Heightstown, New Jersey. And let's bring on team, the first team they selected, Team 103. Team 103, Cyber Sonics from Palisades High School in Kittnersville, Pennsylvania. Here they come, Team 103. And come on down, Team 484! Team 484, Robo Force from Haverford High School in Havertown, Pennsylvania.
Congratulations <laughs> once again for their incredible performance, our finalists and our winning alliance. And now, our final award of the day. It is the first impact award. It is the most prestigious award at first, and it honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and best embodies the purposes and goals of first. The first impact award is presented to the team judged to have the most significant, measurable impact of its partnerships among its participants and community over a sustained period, not just a single build season. The winner is able to demonstrate progress towards first mission of transforming our culture. The recipient team will be invited to the district championship where it will compete for the first impact award against winners from other qualifying events and compete with their robot. This is what the judges had to say about the winner of this most prestigious award. A community team that inspires success in STEM, FLL, FTC, FRC, in a row, all down the hall, failing forward, say it with us, oh my lordy! Congratulations to Team 1640 Sabotage from Downingtown Area Robotics in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Founded in 2005, this is their 20th season competing with first. Congratulations, Team 1640 Sabotage. We no video. Okay, here you go, Liz. Liz. No. So that is the conclusion, but I only want to have two other recognitions if you would grant me a few more minutes. First of all, you mentors and coaches, you bring so much, and the parents, you bring the support, you bring the resources, you bring the money, you bring the energy, you bring everything to your students. I would love all the students to rise up, standing ovation for their mentors, their coaches, and their parents who got them here today. Students, you are our future, and they have enabled you to be that future. Please, please respect it, understand it, and embrace it, and move forward in your life. One other recognition I'd like to give, too, is alumni recognition. I want to give a special recognition, being that this is the last qualifier before going on to the championships. A little bit of story, I've been around in FIRST for a very long time, 22 plus years. I remember back in October of 2010, the fall of 2010, FIRST headquarters came down and challenged, challenged people like Don Bowers and the leadership of teens in FIRST to establish FIRST Mid-Atlantic. This is what we have here today. In recognition of that, and there are a bunch of older people that established this and built FIRST Mid-Atlantic through the years. I'd like to recognize the alumni of First Mid-Atlantic who now essentially run the First Mid-Atlantic competitions, run this entire thing, all of the organizers, all of the people here volunteering today and forward.
Please stand up and be recognized. The alumni of First Mid-Atlantic, our leaders today. Thank you, thank you for making this happen. First Minute Atlantic, and all of you, please, this concludes our, our ceremonies and the Ben Salem event. Please, travel safe, and please, we, we, congratulations to all the teams that are going to the championship at Lehigh University. And for any team that's not going, come on in, cheer them on, and make First Mid Atlantic strong, make First Mid Atlantic loud at the World Championship in Houston, Texas. Thank you, everybody.